Hit it, bitch. Con Sports Radio, we're back again. A little late this week, but we're back. I'm Doug. I'm Steven. And I'm Justin. Back for episode 31. We usually do this segment, which I think Steven said on Instagram got voted. Yeah. The Will of Numbers. Yeah. Is that but correct? I think so. But I think we have something else to do. Yeah, but that's what that. I'm saying. That's the, that's the title, but we interrupt this. Regularly. This regularly scheduled segment. Yep. <laughs> for a salute. So a special edition crack zone for something that happened today. And since Justin provided this beer, we'll let him talk about it. Harry now. Uh, yeah, so, you know, me and Steve were walking around in the store. We were looking at beers, and we were like, oh, look at this one. It's a, a Sky Blue Kolsch from Carolina Brewery. Say that again. Sky Blue Kolsch. Yeah. Carolina. Oh, Car- oh, oh, I'm sorry. Brewery. Carolina Brewery. And what color is that sky blue? What does it look like? It looks like Carolina blue. It does, doesn't wow. it? Wow. Just a little bit. Which mm. would be Carolina blue for the Tar Heels. Yes, sir. Tar Heels. Tar Heels, correct? Heel, yeah. How, Heel, yeah. How about them heels? Wow. So in celebration of the Sweet 16, yes, Heels bound. took down number one Baylor today. The yes, defending sir. national champs. Three, two, two one. one. Mm. All right, sniff taste. And while y'all are sniff tasting, this is a 4.8, and it is from Pittsburgh, North Carolina. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. So no offense to the residents of Pittsburgh, but I feel like that's where I'm sitting at right now because I smell like pits. Mm. (laughs) Armpits? Yeah. I can can smell you from here. Oh, well, I hope it smells bad. Well, all right, so I did my initial. Let Let me do my second. And guys, do you talking about a Kolsch? Mm-hmm. Do you guys remember? Have you had a Kolsch? I mean, I've had several. I think, I think, I've, I've, had I think I've had one. I've too. had several. I actually, be honest with you, I actually like Kolsches. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. So, all right. So, we good? Yeah. Top manager, good. Mysterious tech guy, good. Doug, so. let, me, Doug, let me see your can real quick. Okay. Just for two seconds. I'm just. Type it down the beer. Do it, man. Mine, mine's in my amazing yeah. crack zone Carolina Sports Radio right. koozie. And, and mine's taking a break this week because I have this one. Oh, hell yeah. Which, and that is a Tar Heel koozie. That would be a Tar Heel koozie. For your viewers koozie. at home. And if you will look over Justin's shoulder there on the wall, we got a Tar Heel fathead. Don't, what'd you call me? No, up there. Oh, okay. Don't All right, just make sure. Back. Damn. All right, so we're going to go with the rating. Remember, one to five. Five being the best. The, the best thing that's ever touched your tongue. Right. I think you drank half of it, so it should have been good. So we're going we're gonna go to the tech guy and, and silent manager. So silent manager first. Three and a half. Three and a half. Out of five. Okay. All right, what about this guy over here? Three. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right, Dougie Fresh. Go ahead. Um, like I said, I've had some cultures before and I actually I don't remember not one that I didn't like. I actually like this one pretty well. Yeah. Um, I would give this one a three and a half. Three and a half? I think I'm with you guys. Three and a half. It's very smooth. Smooth. <laughs> smooth. Um, smooth. Smooth. It's a new word, guys. Um, I could definitely drink a couple of these. Well, that's kinda what, like kind of like Justin. That's Justin's. Say. That's always his yeah. his test. Is it a one or two beer? Is a a beer you can drink all so, night? So, yeah. Justin, how many of these? I mean, what is this? Like, we're at the bar. How many of these? So, you Steven, gonna... you said three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna go with a three. Yeah. Um, I think my max on this would be about two beers. So you could get one and get another. Yeah. Then you go to something else. And I'd be like, ah, you yeah, know. Okay. Cool. But it, I mean, it's it's a it's a pretty solid beer. Yeah. I like it. Yep. Definitely like the name and the and the can the can's cool. Oh, so it's the. What does that say? The something winter Great American Beer Festival. Uh oh, it got a oh, it got an award. Bronze bronze medal winner for, hey. the, for the American Beer. Hey, right after the go. Olympics. There, there you go. go. Yeah. So there you go. And that gives us a, a average rating of three point three. FC scored another goal, two one. Let's go. Two one FC. Yeah. Which we'll get into in a minute. Definitely. Um, but hey, that's a good beer. That's a really good beer. Yeah, I would, would three point three. Um, Justin, good job. I would definitely get this. I'd pick this up. Yeah. 
So, so you said on your scale you drink how many? Probably about two. He said two. do two. Yeah, I do two or three. I could. I'm like you. I could do two, three. Yeah. Um, I yeah. definitely pick it up again and, and try it. Oh yeah, definitely. So, and again, as you know, tribute to our Tar Heels. Yeah. We are heading to the Sweet 16, baby. Yep. So all you anti-Tar Heel ABCers, suck it. Yep. And FYT, yes, sir, to you and from it, us. And we'll get into college basketball in a little bit, and we'll talk about the game. But, yeah, just proud of the Heels, man. And, and we no, I don't think any of us saw this coming. No. We didn't. Uh, we'll talk about the picks and all that later. But, again, hats off to the Heels. Way to go, guys. Definitely. All right, so we're going to go to the Will of Numbers. Will of Numbers. For, that was what was one. Yeah, for uh, episode. 31. Come on down yeah. to the Wheel of uh, Numbers. Wheel. Oh, you're, okay. you're the next contestant. All right, so cool. All right, so we'll go to the numbers. Um, I, I'll i probably go last. So number 31. Do you want me to start? Yeah, go We're going to do one each. Like, yeah, well, is that yeah. how we did it? Because yeah, it's like a wheel. Yeah, yeah. The so wheel. here we go. So I'm going to start off with one of my favorite Panthers that I feel like is very underrated. Okay. Richard Marshall. Mm-hmm. I love Richard Talked Marshall. Talked about Marshall before. Yep. Nice. Dude I was love, a hitter. Yeah, he was. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. Uh, Let's swing it to another Panther, Peanut Tillman. Yes. Yeah, good and, and that was for one year. Taught them young boys how to punch a ball Peanut out. punch. Yep. Peanut punch, yep. man. As an art form, yep. by oh, the way. Yeah. You young corners out there. Right. And actually, young defensive players out there in yeah. general. Right. All right, so I'm going to go with this one since I'm an alumnus of UNC Charlotte, Charlotte 49ers. Cornbread, Cedric Maxwell. He was a also a, a Celtics great. Yeah, played in the Final Fours with the you know Showtime Lakers against the Lakers. Yeah, Cornbread is actually I think he's actually one of their announcers as well right now. And I think we have a bobblehead there. Yep, got a bobblehead corn hip cornbread right there. Oh, nice. Um, so I don't, I don't like that's the, not thirty one. Yeah, but he had thirty one. <laughs> but um, I, I don't like the little that thing. But well, that's I, fine. oh, I know what it says. We won't talk about it. But that's we okay. won't talk about it. But yeah, he actually wore that as well. So if you see, he's got double threes on on this bobblehead, um, but he did wear thirty one for the heavy. for the Celtics. Oh, okay, yeah. You could so, kill somebody. With that. And he was a good. Yeah. I, I'm telling you guys, a good ball player. Um, he played when Worthy played for the Lakers. When oh the, yeah. When the Celtics and the and the Lakers went at it back in the you know in the eighties and nineties. So cool. So cornbread. Shout out to cornbread. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go Jamal Lewis. Oh yeah, nice. That dude was an animal. He was a beast. Yes, he was. Yes. For the, I think it was the Ravens. Ravens. Who did he play for before that? Didn't he play for? I just remember for the Ravens. Did he Ravens. play for the Browns? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Well, maybe it was a transition. I think. May, oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that's that yeah, time maybe, period. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, maybe. Definitely. All right. Hey, three one FC. Oh shit! Let's oh, go. Oh, look at FC. Hey, and hey, thirty one. There we go. Thirty one hey, during the segment. Ain't yeah. that great? Hey, time is impeccable. Cool. I'm going with. A really good basketball player. Okay. All right. Oh, good old Reggie. Oh, Reggie oh, yeah. Miller. That was. Yep. I think that's one of that's one of the ones. Do you I guys have. ever watch that 30, 30 for thirty with him? I like, I haven't seen that. That's amazing, man. Yeah. When he when he got into his uh, Spike Lee. Yeah. And he just did the did the choke choke. Yeah. Yep. yep. And you know, he, and he is a sponsor during Mar- our March Madness of Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> He's hey, been on those commercials. Who doesn't like some Wendy's? <laughs> so, all right. Uh, it's on you, Justin, right? No, I no, just, just went. All right. Um, I had that one on my list. I don't want to do this one, but I'm going to, and y'all are going to hate me for it, but I'm going to do it. Don't you do it. Greg Maddox. Yes. Dude is a freaking brave. Animal. Look at, he's looking at, he's looking at me like you, you, you know what you are. No, I, let me tell you about Greg Maddox. I am, I love Greg Maddox. He was a freaking wizard. Pitching the ball, dude, it was the animal. I've never seen people a guy that can throw the ball in the eighties, yeah. low nineties, and the ball he can make it do anything. Yep, he was the man. Mm-hmm. So I much respect for Greg Maddox. Definitely. All right, I'm gonna go uh, Cam Chancellor. Yeah. Oh yeah. As well, much as I hated him, that dude was animal. He's a baller though. Yeah, he was big boy hitter. Yep. 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 Uh, the rest I got is basketball. Okay. Um, Sean Marion. Yep. 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 The the ugliest shot you've ever seen in your life. But it goes it in. It would go in. But it goes in. It goes in, Doesn't man. matter. Yep. This is another one that y'all will probably not like. I, I didn't particularly care for him, but good ball player. Mike Piazza. Mike mm. Piazza. Mr. Mike Pizza. Yep. So Good ball player. Yep. Um, That's what I used to call him when I was a kid. Won, a, Pizza. won a World Series with the Mets. Mm, um, but good ball player. Yep. All right. I got uh, 
Another baseball player, John Lester. Oh, yeah. I uh, pitched with the Cardinals one. last yep. year. FYT. Yep. Yes, sir. Good pitcher. Yep. Shane Battier. Shane uh, Battier? Yeah, Shane, Shane Battier. Can I push yeah. the button? Yeah. 13. F- fuck it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> but nice. <laughs> but nice. <laughs> um, and then this guy was, I mean, this. I got his autograph, met him, met him at a, actually at, when I went to the Braves Cardinals NLCS game. Okay. Dave Winfield. Mm. I actually got drafted in two sports. Wow. Guy's a freaking animal and could hit. So Dave Winfield, the man. The man. Um, I'm on the, you said you had basketball players left? I got one more. Okay. That's probably the one I got too. Go for so it. So I'm going to go NASCAR. Oh. Jeff Burton. Oh. And that's what I was looking for. Jeff Burton. A, a NASCAR. Good Singular. one. Singular. I got I got three left with NASCAR. Okay. That's good because I I was trying to think. I couldn't think of anybody. But I will give you all a fun fact about Jeff Burton. What's that? Which y'all love. Joking. He's a Duke fan. 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Dude. <laughs> so. Yep. Wow. I just lost respect for that they guy. They always talked about it when, when he was. And I hope Harrison Burton wrecks his car. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, is it my turn? I'm yeah. tapped. I don't have any more. Um, it, it was the one we talked about last time, uh, but, you know, he was that. Uh, Seth Curry. Oh, okay. Oh, he wore, yeah, yeah, he yeah, wore yeah. 31. Yeah. Well, I had Jason Terry. Yeah. Oh, the, oh the yeah. Jet, the Jet. Yeah. Jason Terry. Got my Jason Terry. Um, do you have any more left? Or nope, I'm good. Done? Go for it. All right, so just run down the list real quick. Ryan Newman. Yeah. Mike Skinner and Robbie Gordon. And I did not know that off the top of my dome. I Googled the crap out of that. Good for you, man, because yeah. I was th- trying to think of 31s. In I, I actually have to Google who drove this number, and they have a whole list. Wow. So all yeah, of I these I have to Google. I'm terrible with, with – I used to be really good with numbers and names and keeping up with it. I can't do it anymore. With certain numbers, like 32 next week – or, yeah, next week. Yeah. It'll be a lot easier. No, wait a minute. I did have one more I forgot. Bob Force. I talked about it before the, the show. Pitcher for the Cardinals. Threw a no-hitter. What, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I forgot, man. Duh. Come on, Dougie. This, the this, impromptu crack zone. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Bob Force. Threw no-hitter for the Cardinals. Uh, good pitcher. FYT. So, there you go. All right. All right. All we're right. good. Num- we, uh, will, will, will of numbers. Will of numbers. Will of numbers. All right, so done with that segment. All right, so we're going to go into FC. Definitely. Which is what we're watching live and in color right here at the <laughs> studio. I <laughs> so, hope we don't have a black and white TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, But, uh, yeah, they started this, this this match against New England. New England. And they're currently up 3-1. Yep, FYT. 3-0. Ooh. I is made a party it, foul. And there's 22 so minutes Neil, left. No, I'm all, I, no, I thought, Neil's zero. I, was, I so thought three Neil one. was zero. I was just going to say, we were, and we were talking before the show, we were trying to learn st- soccer stuff. Yeah. And I guess Neil was in my freaking head. I was going to say, what, what is but, in that beer over there for you? But 3-1, <laughs> in the, they're in the second half. Half, yep. Um, looking good right now. Definitely. We did note that the crowd doesn't seem to be as uh, big as the last home game. Right. Um, but I think we expected that. That was an event. Yeah, uh, but but, the, but they're playing well right now. Well, we have friends at friends at the game. You know, Chris. Oh yeah, he said that first goal like he was showered in beer. Yeah, he sent us a oh, text. Yeah. yeah. So and it's so funny. We scored what one goal in the past three games, and yeah. now we got three. Just one. Yeah. yeah. So hey, we're getting warmed up. We're getting warmed up. So looking for our first victory. And you know, I'm gonna do a mini golf my lawn real quick. Do it. But like. The whole like flopping and soccer and we saw or football, it. whatever we saw you want to call it, is absolutely ridiculous, dude. Yeah. The guy got pushed in the chest and he's holding his head. He was grabbing his, his throat face, like he got hit in the jugular. Grabbing his throat, like come on. Yeah, it was it was a big time flop. It was like watching Duke basketball. Yeah, there you go, bazinga. Yeah, I said it. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but yeah, man, FC looking good right yeah, now. Yeah, zero and three right now. They lost two to one against Atlanta FYT, and it was a last. Second goal. Yeah. Yep. And then Ugh. Adam Armour does score the first goal in franchise history. Hats off, man. And you know, like we said, we're playing New England right now. So, yep. all right. Anything else, FC wise? Go FC. Yep. Yeah, man. Keep it up. Go for the first win, and we will try to. We will report that. I'm sure we'll be on the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we'll definitely give an update on that. So, hey, kick it, guys. And, and if we get our first win in franchise history at home, that's amazing. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. Yep. So, all right, nice. All right, we're going to hey, we're going turning left. Nice car. We're going nice car. Unless you're at a road course, turn, turn yeah. right. So we're going nice car. Nice car. And they're in 
Atlanta this week. Yep. F- FYT. Sorry. FYT. <laughs> so. Uh, so, uh, Cup Series wise, Chase Briscoe wins in Phoenix. Yep. For Stuart Haas. Stuart Haas. He became the 200th. 200th yep. different winner different of a winner. Cup Series that's race. Correct. So that's pretty cool. Yep. Uh, my boy Reddick finishes third, and he is now ninth in the standing. Yep. And he's, he's, I mean, he's having a good year. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's so funny. He's fighting numb legs in Phoenix. Yeah. His legs kept going yep. on on him. Yep. Um, so, hey, shout out to you, Reddick. Uh, RCR, Rich Shoulders Racing, extended him through the 2023 season. Oh, good. So, um, and it's pretty funny, the top three – in that race, we're fighting for their first cup win. Yeah, and that was – I mean, they were going to so, it too, I mean, it was, it was Briscoe, Chastain, and, yep. and Reddick. So, that, that was pretty cool. Um, I'm not, I didn't look up to see where your boys finished. Well, I got it. Um, Kevin Harvick finished sixth. That's not, and, yeah, that's and, I, and I have a history made. Okay. Kevin Harvick last weekend was the – it was his 18th straight top ten at Phoenix. This ties him with Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt for the most consecutive top tens at a single track. That's pretty good company. That's pretty sweet. He's, yeah. good, he's good at Phoenix. Yeah. So hats off to my boy Kevin Harvick, the elder statesman of NASCAR. There you go. So there you go. I, Truex finished in like – I think Truex he, hit the I, wall, I, I man. I think he wrecked. I saw him, dude, I he, think he, and he, he was, smacked it too, man. I think he was like 31st yeah. or something like he that. He was. He was next to last because Teresa uh, – I tell my wife, I said, Teresa, you, I'm going to have to get on Justin. If you're going to finish 31st, you might as well just finish last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, But it happens. It yeah, happens. We all have a, a bad day. One, hey, we all, it all it, happens. And it's so funny right now because our all of our drivers are 9, 10, 11. Oh, is that how it is? Yep. Oh, so, cool. So Reddick is 9th. Harvick's tenth, and and you're tied oh, for eleventh wow. so with that, like Bowman right. and some other people. Who'd have thought? Right. <laughs> so so, uh, and I think Larson had a bad race. He was he finished low. Yeah, I didn't check on that, but yeah. I think he did. He did. Yeah, he, he had a, he had an off race. So, um, and then Noah Gragson, he won the Xfinity race. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Truck series was off. Um, and again, like you said, we're in Atlanta. Yep. And uh, Sarah, she was at the Easter Bunny in Hickory for the Super Late Model race. Uh, William Byron actually ended up winning the race that she oh, was cool. at. Oh, cool. Charlottean, by the yep. way, from Charlotte. Yep. So so shout out. And the the company she works for, for Port City Racing, uh-huh. um, they finished third. Oh, cool. So they had a good, they had a good race. Hats off to them, man. Yeah, so. Um, so they got the bronze. They got the bronze. Good they, for them, man. They're on the pedestal, at least, or the, what is it called? Podium. 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 There yep. you go. Anything else? Nice car. Nope. Good to go. Reddit. Going late. So hey, we'll see how it comes out in Atlanta this week. There's been a lot of rain down there. I think they, I think they, I, I think qualifying actually got rained out. Did it really? And so they reverted back. So I think Briscoe's got the pole. Oh really? Yep. So there you go. Cool. All right. So now we're going to go into the Canes mm-hmm. and oh no no Hornets. I'm sorry Hornets. Let's go Canes after that Hornets. It's uh, on the board, dog. Go for it. It was there's a glare, <laughs> dude. If you look right now, I can't even see it. The lights. Yeah, the party lights. Yeah, the, the and, party and, and what color? You. And what color are they this week, guys? Carolina blue. Okay. Start Either way, you want to take it: Panther blue or yeah. Tar Heel blue. Yeah, it's yeah, it's and FC. No, and mm. FC. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So there you go. Take it away, Hornet. Our local Hornet. Our local Hornet. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Harry now. That mother. <laughs> okay. Fun fact, real Bacot. quick. Did y'all see the post where um, before tonight's game? So we're sitting 35 and 35. Yes. Yeah. You're talking about and all the numbers under my Yeah, we were oh, like yeah. 17 and 17. Yes. And like the it's crazy. Eastern I got it screenshot. Yep. And like, oh. no, I didn't see this. It is nuts. So we're like absolutely even. 500. Yeah, right there. You can read it. Go ahead. Yeah. So I, I, I had to screenshot We're that. 35 and 35. We're 17 and 17 at home, 18 and 18 on the road, 22 and 22 on the east, and 13 and 13 in the west. <laughs> That's pretty weird. We're absolutely like even. I mean, look at this, man. That's that crazy. That's pretty weird. That is crazy. Yeah. That was wow. before tonight's game. <laughs> that's pretty funny. And it's a full moon. And no, we're just g- kidding. <laughs> 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 and they're playing right now. And last I saw, they were up. Yeah. They yeah. were up in By after the first quarter. I think 10? Yep. Eight or nine. I, like, I, yeah, think, I it think it was nine. nine. Yep. Against so. the Mavericks. Yep. Yeah, um, I'm glad you brought that up. Justin. That is that's Yeah, I scary. thought that was pretty cool. That's freaking scary. Scary Terry. <laughs> so. Scary Terry. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so I'm just going to go down these real quick, yeah, man. Um, hit on a couple of notes. Uh, so we lost against the Nets. That was the last time on the podcast. Uh, we were about to face them. 132-121. Um, uh, we lost against Boston. Then we won against the Pelicans. We whipped their ass. Yeah, we had bad. seven players in double digits. Mm-hmm. Um, then we won against OKC, whooped their ass. Uh, Rozier had 30. And then we beat Atlanta. 
uh, ball head, a double double, twenty two. And, and that was a good assists. game, man. That was a good game. Yeah, and we're hopefully we're still winning. Huge win. I think they just came back from after that. Yeah, the Atlanta game oh, was no. huge. Yeah, we're up. We're up by eleven. Eleven. Up yep. by eleven with four thirty one in the third. We'll keep you updated on that one as well. But yeah. So, I mean, just, just a quick, you know, Hornets thing. Yeah. You see Kemba's working out in Charlotte. I did yeah. see that. So, they're, they're hinting I think it. that would be cool, man. I mean, it would, but, like, we're so guard heavy right yeah, now. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. <laughs> and now I, Isaiah's not playing bad. I was no, I, I, Isaiah Thomas is playing really Dude, good. Isaiah's playing well. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, uh, we're, what, 10th in the East right now? Yeah. I hate that, you know, we couldn't take that step up, but, you know, we're a young up-and-coming team. Are we hosting a play-in right now? No, we're not. We're tenth. We're, we're tenth. So we'll be going so we, somewhere. Yeah, we'll be going somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So we're like we're like fighting for just a play in game. Just right to now. end the playoff game. Yeah. I mean play in game. So yep. Which is pretty sad. I mean, we I feel like we have the I don't know what it is. There's just been some games where we've blown that yeah. we should have won. I guess that's just being a young team. Yep, it is. Um, but that's what the coach is there for, Borrego, you know. And there's some people talking about him being on the hot seat, man. I mean I could see it. You know? We have a lot of firepower. Because we got a lot of talent. Yep. Got a lot of young talent mm-hmm. that likes playing together. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll see, man. I, the, what are they going to do with Bridges? That's my that's my question. He's definitely going to have to test the market. You need to sign him. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Oh, he's testing the market, though. Yeah. Yep. Just like you just said. It's going to cost us, no doubt. I mean, if he leaves, I mean, that's going to leave a gaping hole for us. Oh, big time. You know? I do think he likes playing here. I think he likes playing with the ball. He likes playing with the ball. I think everybody does. Uh, who doesn't like playing with um, balls? <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> But I, I just – it'd be a shame to lose him. So, I think it – you know, they need to lock him up. Yeah. I mean, but I just hope he does it. Take a hometown disc- – well, home team discount. It's not yeah. his home team. He but probably won't. He but, won't. you know, it is what you, – you can only hope. When you can go make $50 million somewhere else and probably win. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and we'll talk about taking the money later. Yeah. Um, on another sports figure. But, like <laughs> – So. I don't know, man. Like – Sometimes it ain't about the money. We have to build something because when Ball's contract comes up, sure. why is he going to sign it? Sure. Right. You got to think about that. I'm just saying. And it depends on what team is going to offer him something. All right. Because, I mean, your ultimate goal technically is, isn't it supposed to be to want to win a championship? Yeah. yeah. Technically. Yeah. And get paid in the process. Mm. I think some people have that backwards. Yeah. Make the money, and then if I yeah. win, great. So, But it is what it is. I'm old, I'm old school. So, hey, he's our guy. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about him during the NFL. That guy's a genius. Yep. Uh, but yeah, man. So right now, update real quick. What we got, Justin? Update Hornets. Eighty-seven, seventy-four. All right, cool. And Mavericks usually kick our ass. Too. Oh yeah, that's another one. Of our kryptonite teams. Yep. And just real quick, leading the way, Bridges does average twenty point seven rebounds. Ball was averaging nineteen point seven, six point nine rebounds. Nice. Uh, Seven point four assists mm-hmm. and one point five steals. Yep. All righty. So we're going to go – are we good now? Done with done with Hornets. Yep. All right. We'll go to Canes real quick, and this will be pretty pretty quick. Um, Canes, I wouldn't say they're struggling right now, but lost two in a row. Lost yeah. one at home last night, which is – they play well in Raleigh. Um, lost in overtime last night to the Caps. Lost three in a row. Yeah, three, okay, three in a row. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the one thing – in that game that was a trip to me was this incident involving Nieder, Nieder, I mean, that was crazy. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, I mean, he basically gets checked into the boards right in front of the, the caps bench and the guy shoves him even further with his elbow. He gets pissed off and turns around. <laughs> Some of the guys are mouthing uh, on the bench and he kind of slashes one with a stick. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was he deserved a one game suspension. I will say that badass move. There. Yeah, but he, you know, like I'm not taking that, man. So, but he did get suspended one game today. Yeah, so. I mean, you can't just sit there and take yeah, that. You can't take like it. I agree. Act like oh, nothing happened. Whatever. You so, know? Nita, I, I give it to him, man. Hey, he fought back. It's kind of like when we talked about the heels. That's one of the things. If y'all saw the post game, Hubert was talking about getting pushed around. Yeah, he said no. Nah, we're gonna push back. So I agree with that. I, res- no. I respect that attitude. So. Obviously, Niederauer did that same. But the Canes right now, like you said, lost three in a row. Um, they're still setting good in the East, um, but lost three in a row. Um, they they got they got to start winning because, like I told you guys, we were talking about the Presidents Cup, the overall record. Yeah, that's a that's a kiss of death. I'm telling you, you don't want that. Um, but the Canes right now, man, they're looking pretty good in the East. I mean, they're still 
They're still atop. Yeah, um, second, second right now. They're still atop the Metro, Metropolitan. Um, but, you know, they just – the Canes right now, they're missing some players that normally is going to – I guess that disrupts the flow of the team. Mm-hmm. Um, but they'll get some guys back. And I did see um, – I, I know – the problem right now is you got guys out that are normally in, so you got guys getting playing time that are not normally in there. So it's disrupting the flow, I guess, or the team chemistry. Yeah. Uh, but you're still, you know, lost four three in a shootout. You right. still got a point against the Caps. Too. Still got a point. Points. Yeah. Hey, they're playing. They're playing good hockey. It's kind. Of, it's um, kind of like the opposite of whose line is away. Right. You know, the points do matter. Yeah. Well, you got a point. You went yeah. to overtime. You got a point. The points do matter. So, but their next game should, I think, is tomorrow. Yep, against uh, the Rangers. Against the Rangers, and that is at you know PNC. So, uh, hey man, tomorrow night I think it's six o'clock. So go Canes. Right. Yeah. I mean, they had, they had some good wins since the last podcast. I mean, two zero against Avalanche, yep. who lead the league. Um, three one against the Flower. Yep. F- the Flowers. The Flowers. <laughs> the Flyers. The Flyers. Um, I mean, then losing to the Penguins, Maple Leafs, and a shootout against the Caps, right. like we said. Right. I mean, we got a squad. I mean, we know we do. Um, we're, we're a buzzsaw, especially at PNC. Can't win them all. Nope. Um, just kind of leading out the stats real quick. Aho leads us some points with 61. Swalk off, cough. Yeah, uh, give with, it to us, baby. Nice. 54. Uh, Anderson is 30 and 9 at goal. I think. Yep. Which, again, I think we've said numerous times has exceeded our expectations. Uh, absolutely. By far. Yep, absolutely. So, so. Go Canes. Hey, man, pick it back up, guys. We'll get another win tomorrow night. Hell yeah. So, all right. College basketball. Yeah. All right. We kind of hit on it at the beginning of the episode, which, again, this episode was the title. Let the madness begin. Which is is, is a catch-all we talked about because March has been crazy. Yeah. So, the madness has began, and we talked about the Hills already uh, one two going to the Sweet 16. So, hey, man, hats off to the Hills. But we could talk about some other teams and other things that have happened. Big upsets. Yep. So, uh, just kind of going back to the conference tournaments, Virginia Tech actually wins yep. the ACC tournament. Hey, and they played well, beating man. Beating Duke. Um, and, you know, the thing about them, you got to give them credit, man. They beat oh, yeah. They beat the the top two, three seeds. Yeah. In, in a in a conference in, in what four days they won four games so right they were hot man and that's what it takes mm-hmm. so hats off to Virginia Tech yep and then uh, UAB ends up winning the conference USA mm-hmm. so hats out to them yep um, but it's already been a crazy you know round of sixty four and now has, ending man. up the round of thirty two here um, I mean the heels just beating the brakes off Marquette. That was that was, and I have a, a couple of screenshots. We're talking about that the the eight nine game. Yes, and there was a record on that. It, it was talking about how the, in an eight nine game, and um, it was the biggest win margin in an eight nine game. Yeah, and that was thirty two. I think it was thirty two points. It said it's the largest ever in an eight nine game in in uh, NCAA um, tournament history. Definitely, it's a way to go, Hills. Um, I mean, their halftime lead was for UNC the second largest halftime lead in history, mm-hmm. uh, 50, 53 25. Um, I mean, we're just hitting all cylinders. When you see a tar, the Tar Heels basketball playing like they're playing, yeah. like, especially against Marquette, yeah. they're a hard team to beat. And we you know, can compete with anybody. I don't know if you guys remember, Marquette came to the Dean Dome last year and thumped mm-hmm. the Heels. Yep. Um, so that's got a little bit of payback. Yep. Um, so good for the Heels. Uh, Went in 95-63, Manic on a mission, man on a mission. The, the guy's been here not even a full year, and I feel like he's been a Tar Heel for life. Yeah. Honestly. Just the way he plays, I mean, having 28-11, and 11, I mean, Caleb Love, 23 points. Um, 100% sure, 99% sure, 21 and a half. The guy couldn't miss a three. He had the green light and was going. He was he was hitting yeah. it, man. And then Baycott was 17-10, and 10, doing his normal thing. Yep. Uh, I mean, the point guard for Marquette with Love, he just didn't know what to do. He was he was getting chippy, real chippy out there. Yep. Just lost. Oh yeah, dude. Like I mean, it was a point where I was, I was talking to you, Justin, earlier when there was a loose ball. You know, they were going for it, and he ends up putting Love in a headlock. Yeah. And how the how the hell he doesn't get? Well, um, they, they called a foul. Ejected. But it yeah. was a dead ball technical. Right. That's exactly That's what it was. Exactly what it was. Um and we couldn't for one, can we can we hit a freaking free throw well, to and, save our life? Yeah. For one. Because this this game wouldn't be in game the both games would have been freaking yeah. forty point games if we right. hit a free throw. Right. But I mean, just just for the hills doing that, man, 
and then going in and you know beating Baylor in Texas. That's a huge win, man. Um, and and you know going back to I, I wanted to say this, guys. I was looking forward talking about Manic. Said he's the only Carolina player in history to have at least twenty five points, ten rebounds, and five of three points made in an NCAA tournament. Yep. So I mean, he's a heel for one year, man. And, and like you said, Stephen, it's like he's been here for four. It, I, I fell in love with the guy. Yeah, I mean, he and he loves it, man. Because after they beat Duke at Cameron, he talked to Hubert. He actually thanked Hubert. Yep. For letting him be a part of this. So a funny story. So that's so cool. It's a funny story when he had entered the transfer portal. Davis called him, and he ignored the first call from Davis. Oh, my God. And he calls him, and then Hubert calls him again. He answers, and then he's there within two or three days. Can you blame him, man? Yeah. So. And, then you know, shouting out Baycott. Um, I mean, this, this was after the Marquette game. Him having 26 uh, double-doubles, uh, it puts him in line with Tim Duncan, Lynn Chapel, Tom Burleson as the leading, the most double-doubles in the ACC history. And he did pass. I did see where he passed. I think it was Bryce Johnson. Yep. For the most rebounds in a season. Yeah. Uh, for ter- in Carolina history. So yeah. hats off. Baycott's play. He should have gotten ACC Player of the Year. Yeah, that was a travesty. And I know year. we're Carolina fans, and I'm not knocking Wake Forest. You know, hey, the guy played well as well. I just think Baycott deserved it. But, no, yeah. You know, it is what it is. Hands down. I mean, the guy. He got the most votes for the first team. Yep. But then he doesn't win the Player of the Year. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, and then again, like we said, heels beat uh, Baylor ninety three eighty six in overtime, which shouldn't even been that close. Right. Shouldn't have went to overtime. Nope. Uh, Had a twenty five point lead. Yep. Uh, let's let's talk about and, that. Guys. And they squandered it a little bit. Well, let's talk about the flagrant too. Let's yeah. talk about the thing on Manic. Um, okay, he. We were we were watching before the before the we went on the air, and you know we were seeing Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith, all those guys in the studio, and they were talking about it. Barkley says it was a good call because Manic brought his arms up above and hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's instinctive. He didn't purposely bring his arm up and elbow him in the mouth. Right. To me, that's a flagrant too. Intentionally elbowing somebody or getting a rebound and swinging your elbows. Right. That's what they're trying to avoid. Mm-hmm. It should have been a flagrant one, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Should, but, still should have been a foul. Right. Sure, it should have. Should have been, you know, technical foul shots. But when he went out of the game, man, Carolina almost fell apart. Pretty freaking close. I mean, the momentum just went to crap. And then when Love fouled out, when it, when it was the right call, yeah. it was a charge. They held on, man. And you got to take your hat off to this team, man. At the end of the game, even into overtime. When it went to overtime, I thought they're going to lose. Mm-hmm. Because Baylor was still loaded. They still had their squad. Mm-hmm. We had three guys out there who's not played much this year. Mm-hmm. And, and, you still, get, and you can tell. Yeah, and, and they, they still pulled it out, man. And the refs in this game don't want to cry about the refs. You can get on social media. You can go everywhere. People are talking about the refs in this game. Even people who are not Carolina fans are saying, man, those refs were terrible. Yeah. So it is what it is. Heels won. Damn right. Well, Justin, what do you think, man? Um, because we were texting during the game. You know, I I was working, so I didn't get I didn't get a chance to see the second half. So like you like Doug said, Manic went crazy. out. Like what what did you see? Yeah, one, once I saw Manic leaving, um, and then right, I, I believe it was right after Manic mm-hmm. left, we had a bad turnover. Yep. And I was like. I even text the group. I was mm-hmm. like, "Here we go." Yeah, you can like, see. Here comes the meltdown. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "It's it's going downhill from here." Yep. And I don't know what it is. I like Black Leaky Black. Mm-hmm. Leaky plays D. I like him, but Dude cannot inbound a fucking no a freaking ball. And you saw they switched off and let Davis do it a couple times. Yeah, Did yeah. You see that he can't yeah. inbound a ball at all. Yeah. And Davis is five foot three. Yeah, like and, he's short. No, I shouldn't say that's his height, but he's a short guy. And shout, to get and, and as we said, shout out. Mm. Davis was the man today. He's the reason why we won. Yeah, so. but I don't know why Black like. There's wide open guys yeah. there, and he just. It's like he's scared. Well, it's it's just like the one he threw it up. He was trying to throw it to Baycott. Yeah, it was off the backboard. And threw it off the backboard, yeah. and Baycott was wide open. Yeah. Um, don't know what happened there. Well, just just keep defending the player. <laughs> but the one right. thing about Leaky, we will say though, Justin. I mean, yeah, he he's spazzing on us, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But the dude can play some freaking lockdown defense. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. he had and he had a big uh a big score yep. there yep. at the end. Sure did. So. Yep. So. And another travesty is he didn't win ACC defensive player of the year. Should have got it. So. Yeah. 
We got any? I got a few stats from this game. You guys good with that? Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna go play the trumpet. Carolina's win today um, was the ninth win against the number one seed in NCAA tournament history, and that ties thirteen. Fuck Newton. With the most in seed, <laughs> since seeding began in '79, so Duke and Carolina have, have beat nine number one seeds, Damn. most, and that's most in tournament history. I don't, um, I don't know if you're going to say this, but I got a fun fact too. Go. Um, that was the first time we ever played Baylor. Yeah, I heard that today. They said yeah. it was our first matchup, I, which I can't believe. I, I know at all. that's that's kind of weird, man. Like the first time you've ever played a yeah. big. I mean, Carolina's a storied franchise. You you would think that we would have played them sometime. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like Baylor's been a pretty big. They're good, man. Yeah, and their women's program's good. I mean, we've never played them. I know that's crazy, man. Um, like, but yeah, man, just just. Some of the facts, man, today, just the way, like Davis. Davis had Davis had 30 points today. Yeah. On he had a five of ten from three-pointers. Huge game. That dude was on fire. Yeah. Um, but he bailed him out today because if you go back to the Marquette game, Love was on fire. Yeah. Today, Love, Love was – he was off. Oh, da- yeah, he and, couldn't hit and, anything. And Davis picks up the slack. The other thing you got to give Baycott, you know, the Baycott double foul they called – it was kind of retaliatory, I guess, because they were banging the crap out of the hills today. They were. I mean, they were playing goonball. Yeah. And the refs, to me, I thought it was it was a poorly officiated game. Um, this, the, I, I feel like the second half it was. was. Well, the first half, I, and I agree with you on that. I um, feel like the first half was pretty clean. The second half was, was obvious. Yeah. Um, I, it was obvious to me that they were, they were calling in Baylor's favor. Um, but it is what it is. Hills pulled it out. Don't matter. But I, I got to give a, a shout out to Baycott. Baycott had four fouls, played hard, mm-hmm. still play. He didn't play timid at the end and he still, he was there at the end. He did miss a couple free throws at the end, but he hit some free throws. Yeah. They were hard to watch. Yeah. Those were hard. Yeah. You, you know, the hardest thing to watch was that mid range shot. He, oh yeah. He, he and you, you know, it's funny you say that when he took that shot, the first thing I said was, that's a bad shot, Baycott. Yep. What are you doing? Because it was a wide open lane, like yeah. drive the lane, just drive the lane, yeah. But maybe because he had four fouls, he didn't. I, yeah, he yeah, don't, I don't he know. He won't be too aggressive. Yeah, but he, but hats off to Baycott, man. He he didn't foul out. Uh, he played a long time in even in overtime with four fouls. I'm gonna uh, tell you, Manic doesn't go out of that game. We oh, they, we they win by thirty. We win by thirty. Yeah, because exactly. you know what, you're you're exactly right, Justin. Because when Manic hit that three pointer and they went up by twenty five, they were d- Baylor was done. Done. They were done. Yeah. And that was at the ten minute mark. Yep, they were done. But you got to give hats off to the Hills too. They played the last like ten minutes of the game with bench players out there. Yeah, yeah. and they did make some crazy like you were talking McCoy, McCoy dude. Oh my god. Um, yeah. But you know what? They won the game. Yeah. So you got to give them some credit. Well, like man. that. Like that charge he had when he had. Uh, we talked about this. The guy's Sharp, waiting on him. Sh- yeah, wide open. He Sharp said- was wide, and he just hit a three. The play down there before, but the Baylor guy's sitting there with his arms like this, yeah, waiting on him. Yep, and he just runs over him. Yep, he's, he's like, like dude. But I mean, so we went for free throws, twenty six to thirty seven. Mm. I mean, we hit five more of those. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, you know. Yep. So, I won hey, a game. Hey, you know what? We'll be number one. See, our our road to it's the championship cleared up a little bit. It's pretty clear now. Yeah. You know, not saying we can't get upset. We can lose anybody because that's what this Carolina well, team is. Up and down. We we could beat anybody, but we could lose anybody too. <laughs> yeah. And that's the frustrating part is we don't know. And you know, we're not going to sit here. I don't think any any of us three are going to sit here and act like yeah, man, we called this, man. We knew Carolina was going to be a sweet 16 team. We didn't. I mean, come on, let's just be honest, guys. Well, that's perfect time to talk about the bracket, you yeah. know. And 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 it's funny cuz what, when I saw that Baylor's leading score was going to be out for the weekend, yeah, I ain't going to lie, guys. I picked the Hills to go to the Elite Eight. That's where I've got them. I, I think I had them in. I think I had them losing in the Sweet Sixteen. Yep, I've got them. I had, in, no, I had them losing to Baylor. <laughs> I've got. I had them beating Baylor, and I've got them winning the next one. Yeah. So I mean, shout out to everybody that joined our our bracket. Yeah, that we're cool. doing very cool. Um. I mean, really, really thank everybody except Tech Guy. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, we love you, Tech Guy. But uh, thank I you don't. guys for joining our bracket. Um, it, it's funny, Justin. Right now, you're leading with the max ma- max possible points. All right. Um, I think most of us had Gonzaga winning. I mean, I do. Yep. I, I do got too. Gonzaga beating Kansas. Yep. 
I think uh, a treat. Teresa had Gonzaga too, or does she have some? Yes, different? she's got it too. I know a friend of beating the Kansas, sh- correct? Yeah, beating Kansas. And then we, you know, friend of the show, Mark. He actually had Kentucky winning it. Yeah, and they lost to St. Peter's. No, oh, mm. sorry, Mark. Ouch. And just a fun fact: one of my coworkers actually went to St. Peter's. Sweet, nice. Go Peacocks! So, um, shout out to that uh, first win for Charlotte FC. Let's go! Hey, Charlotte FC, Hell first yeah. win in history. Congratulations, hey. baby. Uh, that's Man, what I'm talking about. FYT, New England. Yep. <laughs> yep. And then uh, Sarah had UConn winning, but she she just did one for fun. She couldn't name, like, no offense, Sarah, and whatever. You yeah. couldn't name five college teams. Yeah. But um, but, so she, but she's in. She's in there. She did it. She tried. <laughs> she, she gave it a shot. <laughs> um, but I think my Final Four had Providence, Tennessee, Gonzaga, and ooh, who's my other one? Kentucky. Kentucky. It yeah, was. I, I had Kentucky, Tennessee, so two of mine are gone, yep. two years are gone. I had Kansas and Gonzaga. Yeah. And I got Kansas and Gonzaga in the finals, Gonzaga winning. So I had Tennessee playing Gonzaga and Gonzaga yeah. winning. And I do have Duke losing in the next round. I had them losing this round to Davidson. You did? <laughs> I did. You did. I hey, want Because I wanted it so fucked. And you know what? Bad. Steven, I'm glad you said. I was going to do that. I'm glad you said Davidson. Yep. Because I, I got two fun facts about Davidson. And y'all know, I'm a Charlotte guy, so talking about Davidson is not something I like to do. But I got to give this this is some props. Yeah, um, I saw this, and this was pretty cool. All right, so Davidson basketball stat: every four year player at Davidson since 1994 has played on at least one team that made it to the NCAA tournament. Really. Hmm. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, Bob McKillop can coach. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all right now that guy can coach. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought that was a pretty cool stat. And the other one we had, and we heard they broadcasted this during the game. Foster Lawyer, yep, actually played at Michigan State and was the team captain. Transferred to Davidson and is their team captain. Really? So they think that may be the first time that's ever happened. Yeah. So hats off to them. And Davidson almost pulled it out, man. They did. They only lost by one to Michigan State. And, and they played hard, man. And, and I think this is the first time, probably for me at least, I'm pulling for Michigan State right me now. Me too. I'm not a Michigan State guy. Yeah, and, no. Car- and if there's a team Carolina owns, it's Michigan State. It is. I hope Mich- – I am Sparty all the way, baby. <laughs> the Spartans. <laughs> the Spartans. That's, that's, that's their mascot, right. Sparty. So go Michigan State. It's not a Wildcat. It's not a Bulldog. It's not a Bulldog. It's a Spartan. Yeah, it's a Spartan. And that's pretty. that's a pretty badass – mascot spartans it is give them that but I, i'm pretty sure we beat them in a, a championship game oh we did we? oh yeah oh yeah we yeah. Beat, every year we play them in the yeah. NCAA tournament yeah. we beat them so so but hey this week we're with them yep. <laughs> we're with them tomorrow yeah so instead of fyt it's gyt go your team <laughs> <laughs> yeah so hey uh tom is a good yep. coach yeah yeah so i hope he beats i hope he beats coach crud tomorrow so but how, how funny would that be and i know we we give duke a lot of crap you know oh we do but it, how funny would it be you lose you lose your last home game to mm-hmm. carolina mm-hmm. then carolina gets further than you and i hope that happens and and carolina has a, a first year head coach you know it's so funny Stephen, that you say that i was thinking about that today you know the the retirement game in cameron right mm-hmm. who stole all the thunder Carolina. Carolina. Wouldn't it be cool, you know, when he announced he was going to retire, this this whole season was supposed to be Coach K's tribute. Yeah. All of it's supposed to be about him. Mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all saw the other day before the Davidson Duke game or the, the Duke game before they played. They showed K walking into the auditorium holding hands with his wife. Then they show him walking into a room. There's a game going on. Yeah. And they show him walking into a room. Right. We're like, dude, are you going to watch him go in the toilet? I mean, we don't need to see all this. Yeah. And then, you know, if Carolina goes further than Duke, again, they'll steal their thunder. Yeah. So then he'll pull a Brady, as we talked about, and he'll come back. So my question <laughs> is, can we see Duke again? Um, Technically. I think it is in the Final Four. four yeah. And, I, you know, how how historic these both teams have been. They've never played in the Final Four. They've never four. done that. They almost did one year. Really? Yep. Have Close. they ever played it in, the, like, the, the, the big bracket? They've never been in a Final Four together. Yeah, but what I'm saying, have they ever played each other in like the bracket? Oh no, not in the NCAA tournament. No. Yeah, no. 
And, and it's crazy to think that they haven't. Right. Just because they're always good. Well, yeah. So I guess in like, you know, Carolina's always again, right. usually a right. top 10 seed. So it was Duke. Well, there so was there was I one year separated. There right? was one year where Carolina and Duke could have met in the Final Four, and Duke won. Carolina lost. How insane would so, that be? But that's what people call that the ultimate bragging rights. Yeah. If they get in the Final Four or a championship game, and whoever wins, yeah, that's the ultimate bragging rights. But I, I guess it's the way it's set up. It's so hard. For it is. That to it's happen. hard, man. It's hard. Big East teams used to meet in the, in the finals all the time. All the time, yeah. Because they, 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 the Big East was good. At one time, Big East was they, – they were, man. They were, they were good. Is it possible for the championship to be Duke Carolina? I think they can only meet in the Final Four, I believe. Let's I look think, it up. Yeah. Let's look it up. Because I, 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 I know think, we're, we're, I think. we're in Kentucky's region who just lost. Right. Duke's in – I'm going to look it up right now. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to go back to Caleb Love real quick against Marquette. He had six threes. That did tie it and a UNC NCAA record for mm-hmm. threes made in the game, yep. too. Yep. I don't know if we talked about that when I was playing the trumpet. <laughs> when you were playing the band. Yeah. Well, him and Manic had 11 total threes. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you what, they dude. was laying it up. Yeah, I wish Car- we- yeah, Carolina and Duke. Duke is in the – Carolina's in the east, and Duke is in the – what are they in? The West. Yeah, the East and West, they meet in the Final Four. four. So they can only play in the Final Four. Damn. I wonder if that's the, the committee sets it up that way so that a championship game couldn't be Carolina Duke. I don't know, man. You know how many freaking views they would get? Oh, my God. Right. It's crazy. And hey, I'm going to tell you what. Just talking about just the NCAA tournament like memories. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite memories is not even a Carolina win. It's a Duke loss against Mercer. Oh, absolutely. And what, the guy dancing. The, the white oh, guy dancing you said, you on said, his you, you said you knew the guy. I actually. went to high school with yeah, him. Yeah, man, that's so I cool. think he was two years ahead of me. His name was yeah. Kevin Gavinari. Good for him. I, I don't even know if he played anything in Good the game. Good for him. But the dude it was all over Sports Center. Yeah. So shout out to Mercer in like 2013, 14. It was a beautiful thing. And shout out to Kevin for being on ESPN and re- representing Lake Norman High. And you know, they were ta- they were talking about um, St. Peter's being uh, Kentucky losing to them. They were talking about that was Duke's. Um, Mercer, Mercer game. And it was Carolina's Weber State. Yeah. Because, I mean, Carolina did the same thing. So, yep. But, yeah, I remember that one, Stephen, well. Anytime Duke loses, I remember. Right. And it's like I've never been a UConn fan, but UConn has beat Duke in the championship, yep. and, and I'm loving it. Yeah. So, you know what? Anybody but Duke, baby. That's how I feel. So, I mean, anything else bracket-wise? Like, I got my Davidson facts in. I got I got some – the ladies' tournament, I got some, uh, some information on that, but if we have anything else, men's. I think I'm good. What, good, luck, Justin, good luck to everybody in the bracket. Justin, anything? ACC teams left. I know Virginia Tech lost in the first round. Yep. Miami. But you got Notre Dame, Miami, Carolina, Duke. Yep. I'm surprised Notre Dame won, too. And they, Notre Dame's playing good ball. They beat – who they beat? They beat someone pretty good, didn't they? Um, there was like a – what, what seed? They, who they beat? They beat somebody Well, I mean, good. they played in the play-in game, basically. Yep, yeah. But but they were the second seed in the ACC tournament, man. So you got to give them credit. Um, Played ball. Who do they beat? So all right, so I'm gonna go go ahead while you're looking that up. I'm gonna talk about the women's tournament real quick. Um, chime in when you get it. The women's tournament also started yesterday. Alabama, they beat Alabama. Alabama, and Alabama was sixth seed, I think. Yep. Yeah. So the women started uh, yesterday. Um, my my lady Niners made the tournament, uh, Conference USA champions, regular season and tournament champions. They were 14 seed, played Indiana three seed at Indiana today. So did did they not play like this is the yeah go ahead. question? Is it not like a neutral ground? No, nah, that's the thing about the ladies tournament. They don't do the neutral st- in the first couple of rounds, uh-huh. and then once they get going like in the Sweet 16, that's when that's they when do, they go to neutral. That's when it's that's when it's regional, I guess. Yeah. Um, but the Lady Niners, man, you know they lost today. It's a big loss. I mean, this is how women's basketball is. It's it's a it's a big drop off, right? Like you were talking about South Carolina the other day. Howard had scored four points in like the halftime or something. Yeah, Justin, they held a, a team to four points and a half. Well, uh, Montana State mm. held to zero in the first quarter against Stanford. Mm. They lost. They were zero for twenty. Jesus. So that's crazy. But the Niners ended up losing today in in. At Indiana, 85-51, but they had a great season, man. It's only the third time the Niner, the Lady Niners have made the NCAA tournament. Nice. So, hey, man, hats off to them. They got a good thing going over there. So, 
hopefully, you know, and here's some stats for you. 22 win season, Conference USA regular and tournament champions. Um, I guess it's the big time, the, the first time they went to the NCAA tournament since the 08, 09 season. And they got a good team coming back for next year. So, Lady Tar Heels are playing now. We need to get yeah. an update. It's right there. It's right there. Got it on. What's the update? Lady Tar Heels up 65-59 with five – or was that, was that 5.47 to go? Yep. So, Lady Tar Heels playing now. That's good. But we got some – a few little fun facts about the ladies' tournament, guys. And this is stuff that we just heard watching the selection show. Um, the women's NCAA tournament, the first – this is the first year – that the ladies um, NCAA tournament can use the term March Madness. Really? It was formerly known as the Women's Basketball Tournament. Hmm. And it went back to, I think it was last year, the year before last, the ladies were posting things on social media. Like they showed the weight room that the ladies got compared to what the men got. Mm -hmm. And it was like, big time difference it really? was terrible mm -hmm. they showed the food that the guys got and what the ladies were given and it was a it was a you know it was like an equality thing right right and right. so this year now the ladies also used march madness to talk about their tournament see i was gonna make a terrible joke right there and I'm don't glad do that. i'm glad i didn't do it <laughs> fun facts though it said the and this will be good for you guys the only team to make the ladies NCAA tournament every year since and it was since it started eighty one eighty two season. Y'all want to take a guess? I, I I almost got the I think I got this right maybe, but I didn't get the most championships right. That was the one I didn't get right. All right, so the question is, who has made the women's NCAA tournament every, every year? year since UConn. it began? Good guess, but no. South Carolina. No. Damn it. Tennessee. Tennessee. Wow. You watch a lot of women's college basketball. Oh, they had the greatest, one of the greatest coaches ever. Absolutely. I can't, I can't think of her name right I now. I thought UConn did. So, but the next He's question, the next question <laughs> is who's won the most <laughs> ladies tournament or ch titles? UConn. UConn. It's Pat, it's Pat Summit. Pat that's, Summit. That's yeah. who I was thinking of. Yeah. But, and, and she was a legend. Yeah. And, but was it UConn that won the most? Yeah. They oh, won okay. the most. Tennessee's well, second. Well, I got yeah. that one right. Who won the very first ladies NCAA tournament? Georgia Tech. Nope. Virginia Tech. Arkansas Razorbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Texas uh, Tech. It was Louisiana Tech. Uh, oh, the Raging Cajuns? It was one of the Techs. Come Who on. Who are now in the Conference USA, but not when they won that title. The Raging title. Cajuns. The so, Raging Cajuns. Also, we did look up the t Lady Tar Heels. There's only been 40 tournaments. Lady Tar Heels have made 28 or 29. 29 of those tournaments. Okay. The the Lady Blue Devils, mm. 13, <laughs> have only made it, what was it, 24, I believe. <laughs> I think it's on here, 24. And then. Check your cue cards right. there. Yeah. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was on there. That's right, 24. High school. <laughs> Charlotte's made it three times. App State, ladies have made it four times. Lady right. Mountaineers, hell yeah. Um, your local Mountaineers. And from I your local. That, oh, and Duke, Travis. Duke has never won it. Bitches. They've been to a Final Four, but never won it. Take that. Carolina has won a national championship in 94. I watched that game. Yeah, you were probably 73. <laughs> and there you go. There's your update. So, ladies, we've got we to salute the ladies, man. Definitely. Yeah. Can I just go back to when you said Carolina's playing right now? Yeah. That's good. You sound like um, – Mr. Mackey on South Park. Oh, did I? That's good. Okay. 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 That's, okay. Good. That's, good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. But uh, did you guys do the ladies bracket? I was thinking about doing we one. We did. We did. And I really thought about doing one. I'm not going to lie. I've got the Lady Gamecocks beating Stanford. So the Lady Cox <laughs> versus Lady Cardinal. And I also have Louisville going to the Final Four and NC State because mm. they're all good. They've been in oh, the top yeah. five all year. But I don't care, like – Men's, women, whatever. If you hold a team to four points and a half, that's Dude, absolutely ridiculous. Stanford had Montana State zero after the first quarter. Did they play? Did they? Did the women's play quarters? <laughs> yes. Oh, they do. They were. Did they, did uh, they really? Yeah, they play oh, four okay. quarters. Oh. Look, well, why don't men's play quarters? They just, nah, they just like the half thing, huh? So the ladies play quarters, huh? Okay. Just like pro. Well, in college, college men play halves. That's 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 what I was confused yeah. about. So. But I, we gotta, we'll do an update before we get off of here. Uh, Lady Heels still up 
Seventy fifty nine. And, and since I haven't said this, yeah. Um, Appalachian states in the Sun Belt, Travis, Travis. and they are <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was just waiting on y'all to say third that. in the Sun Belt, Travis. Travis. So, way to go, way to go, know. Travis. Hey, Trevor, Tra- Trevor. <laughs> so. Actually, they they actually lost in the conference tournament. I can't remember who they lost to. Oh, uh, Georgia Southern. Oh, that's no, right. yeah, Georgia. Yeah, I think that's right. Georgia Southern, Georgia. Whoever played Gonzaga, the Georgia team that played Gonzaga, that was actually pushing Gonzaga there for yeah. a while. It, it was actually pretty scary. And there was a list, guys, and I meant to make this, and I never did copy this one, but there, I was curious as to how many schools had the women's and men make the tournament. Oh, that and there was a city. like there was like thirteen schools. Yeah, as, and Carolina was one of them. Yeah, out of sixty four. Yep. Huh. So that's pretty cool. I, I meant to screenshot it, but I never did pull it up. So, but that's pretty cool. Because because yeah. ba- like going back to Baylor, Baylor's men and women's are both top five teams. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And UConn back in the day, Justin talking about UConn. When Kimba was at UConn, yeah. I mean, their women and men's were the well, same. Well, Calhoun, I mean, he was Calhoun, the man. He yeah, was the man. Uh, Ariama, is that how you say his last name? Whatever, Gino. They, they're, I mean, they're, <laughs> Trevor. They, Trevor. They're they're hell of a head coaches. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's kind of cool when both programs are doing that well. So, all right, cool. Is that college basketball? Is that it? Uh, go Heels. Yeah, go Heels, babe. Heels. And yeah. go Spartans. Yes. Can we say that together? Yep. Let's do it. Go Spartans. Sparty, baby. Wow, we're in like slow. We're like in Baywatch right there. Yeah, that's nice. Go that's because. You know why? Because we're getting ready to go in that zone again. Yeah. Uh, Do it. Oh, we got one going here. Frank, you, Rick. Frank Duke. Frank Duke. Forget Duke. Forget Duke. Uh. <laughs> so, all right, let's go to the regular. We've already done one. Aneurysm? We've already, yeah, we've already done one. No. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> fine. You good? We good? That's fine. We good? That's fine. That's, That's fine. my favorite story ever. Excellent. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go to the, the next crack zone. Uh, and this one. We got to talk about um, this crack zone is sponsored by <laughs> Master Chiefs walking in the door right now. <laughs> Master Chiefs walking in the door right now. All right. So the so the the Carolina first crack zone is kicking in. Um, so no, no, the uh, Royal Bliss beers were kicking yeah, in. Now. Yeah, this one, Doug. This <laughs> one, no, no, no. The Kong's kicking in right the now. The Kong's kicking in. Oh yeah, you almost said. Uh, were y'all out there with the rake? Uh, yeah. Who do you think took the first Kong? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to the – this is, I guess, the real – the regular crack zone. Yeah, the, the normally scheduled. Yeah, the segment. The regularly scheduled. So this has been provided to us by a friend of the show who's been a guest of the show. Yeah, he has. Kevin. Damn right. So this is uh, – this crack zone is sponsored by Kevin. <laughs> and this because. one here – and help me out with it, guys. You know us old guys can't read. So Holy the, shit. Yes, sir. So this is New Belgium. Yeah, this is about this is about to be something. And I know friend of the show Jose is gonna like this too because he's a big Voodoo Ranger guy. So Juice Force. it's by Juice Force IPA and and Justin, why don't you talk about the alcohol content in this bad boy? Well, that's why I just use my, and I, and my I knew, profanity and, and words. I knew, and I knew you would. And how dare you? Yeah, how dare I? Um. Nine point five. Okay. In this little tiny can. So why would you not 5. just take a shot? So yeah, like, can we just go get the crown? So I mean, we might have it right here. And this is again an IPA. And, and the thing is, it's not. It doesn't. It, it does say. I ha- guess imperial. Hazy imperial. That's why IPA. it's nine five. That's, That's why. I'm trying to fit I, mine in this koozie, but I, all, all right, imperial. So, I've got a. Yeah. So after I, we got to do the thing here all right so here we go guys we ready three two one crack it damn it i can smell it from here oh boy I mean, freak oh boy i can smell the fruit yeah, it smells yeah. oh, fruity definitely. actually well i figured with the orange there <laughs> pour it up oh yeah oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. oh yeah I'm down with that. That's actually not bad. I'm down with that. That's really good. That's I'm down with that. Really good. Okay, so let's do it. Wow. All right. Hold on. Let's let's let Silent Manager and and Mysterious Tech Guy get a 
a, a swig. That tastes like orange juice to me. Dude, and that's the thing that's scary about it. When I was talking to Kevin, that's what he said. He said, this is dangerous. Wow. So... I hate orange juice too. See, and I don't. I, I like I, I like a blue moon. I, I and all had a, that. all right for one. I had a all right. Just to go, going back, I had a bad experience as a kid with orange juice. So as a kid, if you ever drank too much orange juice, you know what happens when you drink oh, too yeah. much orange juice. Yeah, that happened to me. But it, but how are you liking this orange juice? That's pretty. Funny. <laughs> I'm looking at Silent Manager. That's Silent Manager's nodding her head over there. That's mm. Justin. Check on Silent Manager back there. <laughs> Look at her holding her mug. Look Hi. At... All right. So we good, Tech Guy. Tech yeah. Guy, you good? Wow. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So you ready, Stephen? You, you ready? Yeah. Real quick. Uh, Hornets beat the Mavericks one twenty eight one oh eight. Go, go, Bugs. It's a good night so far. Yeah, really good night. Good night. So my Lady Hill. I mean, uh, Lady Niners losing. That's the only one. All right, so here we go. All right, silent manager. Four out of five. She's go oh, nice, nice. Two. Oh, tech guy's not liking the Imperial IPA. Uh, what is this again? Hazy Imperial IPA. Juice Force. Juice Force. Okay. Sign me up, buddy. You want to go? Let me go. Is no, it technically well, yours? Technically, it's yours. I guess technically, yeah. I'll go last then. You want me to go? Or do you, okay. you want to go? Go for it. Dude, I'm going four. I was looking at I was watching Justin the whole time. Just wanted to see his face because tech tech guy was, you know, hogging his beer over there. So I was looking at Justin. I couldn't get a good read on him. No. Me and me and you made a good point. No, I, I, I got your reading. So what you got, big guy? One and a half. Wow, really? Wow, I don't like it. This beer's terrible. So you don't like it. Wow. What is it you don't like? Everything. Just nothing about it you like. No. Wow. Like Is it the orange? Everything y'all are saying. I don't like. So you don't like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Like the orange taste, cool. the, I don't know. You just don't like it at all? I just all. don't like it. So in other words, you wouldn't drink this one? No. Are you going to finish that one? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's a nine and a half. Because it's nine and a half. If you don't, I'm taking it. It's <laughs> it's, it's not yeah, the worst it. beer I've ever had. But you wouldn't get it. But either. I would not buy it. So if me and Steven bought this, we would split this. Yeah. And, and well, and Silent Manager would obviously be in. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Dude, I'm at four. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Hold on. What did that take? Did I do? You said four, two, one and a half, four. Yeah, okay. You want more I'm going to be honest with you, man. <laughs> I like this pretty damn good. That's yeah, good. I I don't want to go four and a half. It's not that good. But it. I, I'm almost above. A, I'm a four and a quarter, man. That's good to do four and a quarter. I like this, man. Kev, you did good. So this, right. this shows you the no, you difference. Didn't. This shows you the difference on me and Justin's palate, right? Because you obviously don't like it. I mean, I would never think Stephen would like a beer like this. He, he does. Dude, I, I love he it. He likes it. Because I am I feel like I'm more of like a... Right. You're closer to me. Yeah. Right. So but, so, so that just shows you... Well, that you, that you shows know. everybody that, you know, different palates. Right. Are, you know, right. everybody's got different palates. So I like this one, and, man. And we tell everybody, please, even though if we say it's great, it would say it's not our thing, yeah. go out and try these beers. Right. Yeah. And any beers by these breweries, please go out and try it. Yeah, man. So I like I like I, this. One. I like it. I, I could drink four or five of those, and, and we would. And be I'll probably be host. down for the freaking count. Yeah. So it'd be like me. It'd be like it. it'd be like me on St. Patrick's Day. Don't <clears throat> so know I'd say what's what, going on. If we get these, we'll just give you a bottle of Crown, and we'll just go with That's it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's funny though. Like <laughs> so, something with that much alcohol content, just drink a freaking a bottle of liquor. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously. Like, th- yeah. this is good. I like it. This is really good. So, again, Kev, I, I mean, Justin doesn't really care for it. Tech guy, you know, he kind of did the, yeah. So, we got at least three of us like it pretty well. So, what was the average? 3.15. Okay. Okay, cool. So. All right. So, cool. I like it. What, we good? What's going on? What we I don't at? know. I heard noises. Oh, okay. He was tapping his hand. Oh, okay. That was me, man. I was doing oh. this. I was doing that. Oh, that, that's what I heard. <laughs> so, all right, Crack Zone. So, do the disclaimer about cracking with us. Yeah, please, when you listen to us, crack with us. Unless you're in a car. 
If you're on a moped, if you can actually do that, I want to watch it. But please, crack safely with us at home, in your living room, in your bathroom, in the shower. If you never had a shower crack zone, you need to do it. And, and, a, and a pooping one. If you never had a poop beer, it's amazing. Shower beer and poop beer, top of the list. I think a lot of dudes, we know all about that. Yeah. So, but Remember, crack crack with this. Um, send us your suggestions. Suggestions. All right, nine point five is kicking yeah, in. Right, there it is. Suggestions. Yeah. Suggestions. <laughs> but you know, send us what you think we should crack with. You know. Yeah. I mean, we don't know all the beers. Yep. We'll try them though. Absolutely. And if you want to buy us some, screw we'll, it. We'll and take, when you we'll do that, it. it's called a sponsorship. I and, might not like it, and we'll shout but you I'll out. Drink it. Yeah, we'll try it. Yeah. But yeah, send suggestions. Send you know anything like that. Give us beer. Please. We'll buy you beer. You buy us beer. <laughs> we'll call it a date. We'll have a good time. All yeah. right. Final. I'll sign your stuff. Final. <laughs> turn around. Lady Hills, 79. I don't want to turn around. Stephen F. Austin, 66. I'll sign your stuff, Doug. You know. <laughs> I'm waiting on you to say something. Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> and by the way. His beer is yeah, they, it's coming they, out. It's they, out. They have it at the warehouse. We got to get it. Man. I talked to our um, our vendor with the person I work with, and um, they have it at the warehouse. It's going to ba- bottle shops first. The the but, lager. Yeah, so we got we got the IPA. The lager is coming to the bottle shops first. And well, from what I remember, we all liked the IPA pretty good. No, it was pretty good. Yep, for so, sure. So for sure. As Stone Cold said the other day, I saw in the promo video, it's a badass beer. Give me so a, give there me you a go. Hell yeah. So we're going to do that. Foul. We're going we're gonna to get that. So Oh, Te- foul. A technical foul. All right, cool. All right, so we're done. Crack zone. We're going to keep sipping on this. Hey, seriously, Justin, if, if you have a problem over there, you can give me that and I'll finish it for you. you hey, I'm part of the juice force. So I'm yeah, I like it. Where man. do I sign up? I'm for in. That? I'm in. That's pretty good. Yeah, go for it. So, take, you, so you good? Yeah, take it in the damn Kong down there. You good? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, no, I don't know uh, about th- that. Uh, uh, I, will, I, I can drink it. Now, how will I act afterwards? Yeah, he, I have no if idea. If he Kongs it, he'll be laid out, man. <laughs> we don't want that. That's what we want. All right, so... Don't take advantage of me. Major League Baseball? Yep. That's where we're going? Yep. lot going on. Talking about March Contact. Madness. A lot going on baseball. Mm-hmm. You guys go ahead and start this thing out because you, you, your Braves are reloading, I think is a good way to say it. We're making some beautiful moves. So, my, guy, my guys hadn't made that many moves, so you guys go ahead and I'll bring up the rear on this one. I think we're in a better position than we were last year. And I will agree with that. Yeah, so F you, Travis. You know what Travis told me? Oh, please tell me what Travis said. Cause he said, what is your team doing? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, why would you sign Matt Olson and not sign Freddie Freeman? I said, for, I mean, I understand, but for one... We're getting a five-year younger player. Yep. He's still a gold glover. Yep. He's actually got one more gold glove than Freddie. Yep. Yep. Um, I mean, he hits the same amount of home runs. Yep. Like, I'll be honest with y'all. That was a good. That was a good pickup. Yeah. Great trade. Great so, trade. W- what I mean, which the Braves are what, historically have a good record with that. Yeah. With Brave. Look at the, what y'all picked up to win the series last year. Look at all those moves y'all made. He said we traded away too many prospects. I said what? Christian Pache? Nah, I don't think so. And I didn't even hear about the other. I mean, it was Christian Pache, Shea Laguerus, Ryan Kuzak, and Joey Estes. Yeah. Pay the band. Laguerus yep. was the young catcher that we had coming up. Yeah. That's probably the biggest one that I. Besides Pache, yeah. Yeah. But honestly, I wanted to get rid of Pache last year. Yeah. I mean, I feel like he has all the fielding in the world. He has no bat. Yeah, he, he's more of a he's like he's like an Enciarte. Yeah, right. But getting Matt Olson, like you said, we're replacing Freddie. He's younger. He does yep. the same things Freddie do. Yep. Are we? Do we miss Freddie? Are we going to miss? Absolutely. Freddie? Yes. I mean, he's a staple with the franchise. He's up there with with the Chippers and the Greg Maddox yep. and the John Smoltz and the Andrew Jones. All those those legendary the Mount Rushmore players. Right. You know. But I mean. We just couldn't get a deal figured out. The only thing that puts a bad taste in my mouth was you didn't let Freddie know that, hey, we're going to go ahead and trade for Matt Olson. Right. And that came from him and his agent. But I like the tra- I like getting them. I do, too. I hate seeing Freddie walk, but, you know, he, he's, he's going to go to the Dodgers, which we all hate. Yeah. Well, at least me and you. Um, he's going to go play with his best friend. 
Yeah. One of his good friends. I don't know if they're best friends, but they're good friends. They grew up together. He's going back to his hometown or his home state. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't hate the guy for doing it, but I do because it's the Dodgers. It's our biggest rival right now. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, go to the AL. Like, I was really surprised when, you know, we did the, the trade and, you know, the report came out and said he didn't want to the Yankees. I'm super surprised by that. Yeah, and they re-signed Rizzo. Yeah, and they and you know that came out and Rizzo gets re-signed, and you know they said FIT. Yeah, that was that was kind of a big shock because they were like the the front runners for Freddie. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, obviously LA is going to be the front runner for any big player out there, right? Uh, hate Freddie going there, but we'll definitely see you in the playoffs, bud. Um, like I said before the podcast. I still feel like we are getting better, and if we could beat the Dodgers last year, we definitely can this year. We definitely can this year. Definitely. With Sor- right. Soroka coming back, bullpen's getting healthy. Morton, well, Martin will be healthy again. Yep. Um, I mean, we revamped our bullpen. Yeah. Getting Jansen from the Dodgers. From the Dodgers, we got uh, Colin McHugh. Yep. Uh, I mean, we only who lost- was solid. Yeah. Well, yeah, he was one of the best relievers. In baseball, the past couple of years, mm-hmm. um, I mean, we lost Chavez, Martin, Tomlin, and Rodriguez, but all all guys that were, I mean, Chavez was thirty eight, yeah, like Martin was on the back end, back end, like he's thirty five. It was rotational. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, guys that come in and just like kind of pitch an inning and okay, but uh, we still have Mastec, we still have Mender, we got all of our like solid Will guys. Smith, and then we just added. We just added friggin' um, the guy I just fucking said Jansen. Jansen, yes, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like, I don't know, man. I feel like we really revamped in a good way. Yeah. And we get as much as we're trying to keep all the personal stuff out of there. We we have Azuna as DH now because that's a thing. Yeah. DH is universal now. And don't forget, we got Acuna coming back. That's a big one. And let's just say. That dude was running for MVP. He was playing Easy. ball. Easy. 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 He was playing ball, man. If you would have kept on that streak, he's he's won MVP. Yeah. The, right. Hands down. Who like, uh, who won MVP this year for the NL? Um Good Lord, who was it? Oh God. I don't know, we'd have to look that up. I, I don't remember. I gotta be honest. And we with got you. um Rosario back. Solaire went to the Marlins, yep. which is fine. Yeah, I mean I I would could we kept both I would like to keep both, obviously. But keeping Rosario, I think that was the better of the two. I think I agree yeah. with Steven on that. Honestly. I mean, we still got Duvall. Like, yep. We got him, I think, one more year. Yeah. Yep. And I like Riley, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. Austin 3 I mean, I mean, I'm an Arenado guy as far as third base. I think he's he's one of the best in the league. But Riley's Riley's a good young Riley's turned player. out to be one of the best third he baseman. He is a very good third baseman. Bry- did Br- Bryce win it? Bryce won it? Wow. Who? Harper? Bryce Harper? I think Harper? he did. He yeah. did? Wow. And then Shoei Atani won for the AL. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know Atani did. Yeah. Tani's the guy. But, uh, yeah, dude, Austin Riley, hands down. I told, you, I told y'all that last year. He, when y'all he, were making y'all's run, I told you, Riley's a guy. I'd love that dude. He, he, took, yeah. he took a step forward, for sure. Because yeah. yep. we were talking about trading him for Chris Bryant, yep. who just signed that big-ass contract with the Rockies. With the Rockies, yeah. yeah. But, and, uh, I mean, he does. I mean, Chris Bryant's a good ball player. No, he's really good. I'm a Cardinal guy. Hate the Cubs. But I got to give the guy credit, man. He's a good ball. He's a good ball. I like Rizzo. I like Rizzo. Mm. Classy guy. Yeah. And he re-signed with the Yankees, by the way. Yeah, he did. Yep. So. And then, you know, Jock, you know, going to the Giants. And I feel like that's where every older player goes. It seems like it, don't it, right? Every, like, really good older player at the back of their career goes to the Giants. Well, you think think about their – well, I mean, either that or they've been there their entire careers. Mm -hmm. Brandon Crawford, Brandon Belt. Buster Posey. Buster, Buster yeah. Posey's the man. Like, and, he re- and he retired this past year, yeah. too. Well, I mean, Bumgarner was there for a little while. So, yeah. I mean, and know. I have a, I have a lady Hunter I work with. And I have a lady I work with. Hunter Prince, uh, Hunter, man. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Prince. Hunter Prince. Hunter Pence, Pence, yeah. Pence. Good ball player. Uh, I have a lady I work with. Her son actually lived in San Francisco for a while. And they're Giants fans. And she's right. talking about going to Buster Posey night. And we need to go. Th- you talking about Braves game we're, we're looking at? Mm-hmm. Dodgers game. When they come, when Dodgers oh, come. Oh, yeah. Why, would the, why yeah. the hell would we not? Yeah. yeah, it's a good, good deal. And it's a good show down there, man. I mean, I haven't been to the new stadium to watch a game. 
Oh, I went, really? down, I went down there for uh, for a th- concert. That ballpark is beautiful. And I haven't been to the Battery. Um, it's the Duh. same. I, I think it's the same. They were still building it when we went down. The Battery is beautiful. It, it's, it's like in St. Louis when we went. They have, you know, I mean, they have a similar scenario out mm-hmm. there. It, it is just cool, man. Um, so we're definitely going to probably catch some games down in Atlanta this year. So. And I was happy to see spring training going back to Oregon. Right yeah, and when they made the deal, I was pretty happy about that. Um, it is time to get back to playing ball. Yeah, I mean, there's some some of the stuff they agreed on, like the shift being banned. I don't understand that. I got mixed feelings on it. I don't get um, that. The universal DH should have been like 10 years ago. Yeah. That that should have been. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Take the pitcher padding out, out of it. DH. Creates yeah. better baseball. It does. I mean, it, I'm, I'm more like, offense. I mean, I will say I'm a, I'm an old school traditionalist baseball kind of guy, but I mean, I, I agree. I mean, the DH, yeah. Who would you rather see? Would you rather see a pitcher hitting? No, I mean, I or agree. Somebody with some power. I, d- I just know, you know, going up playing, the pitcher always hit. So, and I'm a National League guy. Right. Yeah. So, right. um, but I agree. I, I, I'm I'm like it's time. The, mm. the game's changed. They it's, want offense. Mm. I mean, that's that's the way it is. I get it. It does take the bat out of your nose hands though. Don't you know? <laughs> well, then maybe he can just focus on freaking. Maybe pitching. he can play DH one day. He could. I mean, he could Atani. Be, he could be a Tani. Hey, look Atani. at a, look at a Tani. Yeah. And yeah. I totally forgot we're getting you know back healthy too. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So. Our bullpen's about to be dirty. Don't you know? Yeah. I I really want to see, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more with Cardinals. I know we've been talking with the Braves. No, 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 man, go. I mean, y'all but, defending champs, man. But um, you still have you still haven't brought. I know. I you, gotta I gotta find it. Solid manager. He he still hasn't brought it. Right, because we even saw something that we almost bought. Don't buy it. I've got it. it Don't was worry. Cha- it was it was a championship thing. We were going. Oh. We were going to get it. Oh, okay, we'll buy it then. But no, 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 <laughs> no. I was like, Steven's bringing something, so let's not do well, it. I don't have anything championship. Oh, I've got my I got my hoodie. I really want one of them beanies. Well, but if you bring something original, it doesn't look like you're we're bandwagon. True, we're original. True, true, true. Like that beautiful thing hanging right there. Shut up, Justin. The hell did you just say? <laughs> right there. What the Carolina Panthers? Thing? <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> that, that is a pretty the, uh, that the is kiss a, sign. <laughs> yeah, you got that, that is too. a pretty badass Panthers picture into though. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, that's back when. Well, we'll talk about them in a minute. We're, we're I like oh. I like yeah. to see Soroka getting back into it, man. Because yeah. that dude, that dude was tearing up until he unfortunately tore his ACL. Yeah. Um, then that gave Max Fried a chance, and mm-hmm. and then we got we don't know what Max Fried did. Justin, you gonna finish your beer, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, if you're not, I'm gonna take. I'm, I'm almost done, man. Oh, damn. Well, Teresa, I mean, you know. Well, here, I'll drink a damn Bud Light. <laughs> no, man, go ahead. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> I wouldn't take your 9.5, man. You can have it. <laughs> you really don't want it? I mean, if you want it. <laughs> go ahead, Steven. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm just chilling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was done. Damn, I, know. <laughs> I really right. was done. I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm just chilling. That's uh, that, what is that? Royal Bliss, nine point five, Carolina Brewery. They're all adding up. Yeah, it's starting yeah. to get there, dude. Crack zone is kicking in the Kong too. This, see, I didn't. We, we have to have a Kong zone. By well, the way. I didn't know yeah. y'all were doing. Did I mean? I'm sure y'all did when you went out. Yeah, I'm sure you took care of it. I hit it. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I will. I just. You gonna hit? Oh, it? You're gonna hit the Kong? Oh yeah! Holy shit! That is oh, that's the going on. That's going on IG. Me? Yeah, kidding me? Come on, man! Oh, dude, this is about to be amazing. That's not going on, on the Instagram. All right, and, th- and this is it, guys. Oh, uh, CSR. <laughs> hey, not with this. <laughs> Hell no! Yeah, that's going in there. Hell no! So, all, all right, right cool. we got any more baseball news? Um, we did see. Was there? A, oh, the Twins just picked up. Um, oh my God! From the Astros. God dang it. Don't I point saw. at me. Don't point at oh, me. Carlos Correa. Yeah. He's a, he's a baseball guy. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you all something, man. Justin, I don't know if you – you probably have. You're a baseball guy. The Twins have been making some moves. They made the some Twins got moves. a squad. They've been making some moves, man. Yeah. So, hey, hats off to the Twins, man. And they, they've they been good for the past, like, two yeah. years. So. Yeah. And I've, really, I've actually always, honestly always liked the, the Twins. Yeah. Like when Joe Maurer was the catcher. Yeah, well, they beat us in the catcher. World Series one year. Catcher. With Kirby. 9.4. That with, shit with, said me. 9.5. Uh, <laughs> whatever. With Kirby, Kirby Puckett, and they beat us in the World Series. I still, But still, I don't hate them. I, you know, it is what it is. I've always liked the Twins, though. Because they had Joe Joe Maurer at catcher, and, right? Uh, Who was the third baseman? Was it third or first? It had a similar name. It was Justin. Um, Justin. It starts with the M. M- Mon- Monroe? Justin no, Monroe. Oh, it wasn't. Oh God. Joe Mauer and Justin. Give me, Shit. give me that thing. Give me what thing? Give me that thing. Here. 
He's getting you a refill. It. He's getting you a refill. Hang on, wait. Don't don't look it up. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Oh, okay. Did you look it up? I just said don't look it up. I'm looking it up right. I, I had to. But let the, just just Google. You're fine. Do it. I, I won't tell you if you're right or wrong. No, I was gonna do a live a live video chat, but our first very live video no, chat. Cool. Do it. Just Who's do it. gonna do it with? Travis. Do it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. How was your day, Steven? Dude, what a day, man. <laughs> how about them heels? It, yeah, the hills win. Yeah, Lady Hills. Lady Hills won. Hornets. Hornets win. F- hey, Uptown's probably lit right now. FC wins. FC and the Hornets won. A- Uptown is freaking lit right oh now. Oh my god, man! They're Get- probably burning it down up there. Burning it down. <laughs> burning it are down. You, are you just now, man? <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. This is the friend of the show, Travis. All right, solid friend manager. of the show, Travis. Travis we got a live. You're live on the air right now. What's up, babe? What's up, Travis? What's up, dude? You're live on the air right now. <laughs> What's on your head? Yeah. Look. What's up? What's up, babe? I saw that. Hey, we got a question for you, okay? Okay. Putting you on All the right, spot. Back when Joe Maurer was the catcher for the Twins, who was the first baseman? Justin Morneau. First, there you go. No, there it is. Yeah. There you go. Good wow. job. Good, Good job, job. bud. I call, did I not call it? Yeah. You said Monroe. Oh, I said Monroe. It was pretty close, though. Yeah. I said his last name wrong. Canadian. But you had the right guy. He's Canadian. You had the right guy. A? A? <laughs> hey, by the way, Tar Heels win. <laughs> Woo! FYT. How about them heels? FYT. Sweet 16, baby. FYT. <laughs> it's all right. We, we play tomorrow. Hey, 13, baby. 13. <laughs> Fuck Duke. Fuck Duke. Go Spartans. Go Spartans. All right, Bye, Travis. Buddy. We're going to have you on the podcast soon. Love you. That was pretty. Uh, that was pretty good, man. I that was good. That. I like that. that. And you do know Jose wants to do that. Like he wants. Show? He wants to yeah. call in. Well, dude, was, so we right. need to do that with him. Well, hey, that didn't sound too bad, at least in the earphones. It actually did pretty well. Yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, cool. Now was that Android? Of course it was. Okay. Nobody uses iPhones. It didn't, it didn't sound that bad. So I wonder if I. I wonder. I don't. Know, I don't know what he we'll has. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. So all right, cool. All right. All right. So Major League Baseball, we're good. Cardinals hadn't done a whole lot. Gonna be honest with you, um, they haven't signed a lot of players. Um, you know, you know who's unloading is the Reds. Yeah, well, they're unloading, and, and I love it. I'm a, can can I? This is a little bit of a get off my lawn, just small. Okay, I hate the effing Reds. Why do you hate the can't Reds? Sta- they're in my division. I can't okay. stand them, man. Oh. That's fair. Um, I, that's great to hear that they're having a fire sale. Do you know why I hate the Reds? Because they used to play the Reds baseball games over the freaking Braves. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. well, that's what I was getting ready to tell y'all. Like we, I didn't understand. Well, you just you talked about why I hate them. They're in our division, number one. Yeah. Number two, when the baseball, when Major League Baseball drew up these territories, these viewing territories, mm-hmm. y'all know we're in the Reds territory. We are. I know. Because, so yeah. so it's good for me in a way because I get to see Cardinal games when they show them on the Reds network and they're in our division. But I agree with you guys. I'm like. We're in the Reds territory. Well, how how are we not in the Braves territory? All right, if we're not in the Braves, okay. What about Nats? How we're not in the Nationals yeah. or Washington or, or Orioles. Orioles? Yeah. How are we in the Reds territory? Or hell, I even though this, the Pirates. Yeah, I, the I, Pirates I, 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 are closer I, I, to us. The Phillies are closer. It's like yeah. here's Pennsylvania. Yeah. Here's Ohio. So the lines are all jacked up. Some but, dude but, with a pen was. But like, it is a benefit to me. Because of was it because I'm a Cardinal guy, was a wizard was it Michael J. Fox. Well, because I'm a Cardinal guy, you guys get to watch the Braves on Sports South. Yeah, but some back in the day, now, I, know, I know what you're saying. Now, now yes, but with but the Cardinals, the, I could only watch the Cardinals on a national game. Oh well, but with the Reds, at least I get to well, see should, that. Well, should, and then when should. the Cubs used to have WGN, no, yeah. I could watch the Cardinals there. Right. So I mean, it's a win-win for I mean, me. It was also it was also Baltimore though. Yeah, I feel like yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. got a lot of Baltimore. Yeah, games. we did, we did. But yeah, somebody needs to figure that out. Yeah, but it is what it is. But my cards are going to be fine. Our pitching's taking a little bit of hit. Um, Your pitch is getting old, isn't it? Well, Jeff Flaherty's got a t- partial torn, I think, a ligament in his shoulder, which sucks. Um, we still got Wayne Wright. He pitched yesterday for our opening game, which we won by the it's, way, it, four to two right, against so, against the Astros. So I'm, I'm going to throw this out to you right here, mm-hmm. not career wise. Mm-hmm. So I'm not saying this, yeah. but is Adam Wainwright the Tom Brady of baseball? <laughs> He's close, <laughs> but I mean, you know the, what? The, the dude's like forty. But I will tell yeah. you this about Wainwright, and we did get him from the Braves. We FY, traded FYT. We did, <laughs> and you know he's a, he's a Georgia guy. Yeah, um, he's a good dude. 
I mean, he really is. a He's just a good dude. And he's a hell of a pitcher. Yep. And he's, you know what, man, the thing about him, he just keeps kicking, man. And Molina's coming back. Yep. So, it is what it is. I don't know how we're going to do this year. What do, you, what do you say, Justin? What do you what do you not do against Yachty? Don't steal. Don't. Still. Still. don't yep. Even now. That's that's the one dude in the league. Yeah, even now. Against. I mean, the guy's old and he still can't steal on him. Right. But, he's, a, he's a dart, dude. Like, but, but, but the thing about the Cardinals that we're good at, guys, and I don't know if you guys remember this, but last year – we were the best defensive team in baseball. Right. Um, I, offensively is where we struggle. Um, I mean, we got into the wild card game last year, took the Dodgers to the ninth inning. Yeah, he did. Um, so we'll see what happens. We got a new manager this year, so we'll see what happens, man. But I mean, I mean, every baseball year, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, and my wife will tell y'all this. I'm always optimistic. Hey, my cards are gonna do good this year, and then I'm cussing all the time about the Cardinals. <laughs> Cardinals drive me crazy, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm a tombstone. Y'all will probably be at my funeral. Please, just remember, say this. The Cardinals took 10 years off his life. I will. And guess what? <laughs> We're hitting the crack zone. I feel like me and Justin will have to have a speech. Oh, my God. And oh. a crack zone's happening. <laughs> Doug, you're going to have the most lit funeral Oh, ever. my God. Are you going to bring the Kong? Yeah, we're bringing the Kong. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do you know him? Sorry. He's buying a 12-pack of this, whatever this beer is. <laughs> Juice Force for Kong. Yeah. Okay, silent manager just covered her face over there. Um, so, But, no, man, she, I mean, my wife will tell you guys, I, we'll be like, we can be just like at a trip or something, and I'll look at my phone, and, you know, Cardinals will lose 2-1. to one. They'll have 13 hits, strand freaking 20 runners, and they'll lose two to one. I mean, and I will cuss you, and raise you hell. Love, you love a guy that can't finish, right? I'm, <laughs> it drives me insane. It, and, and here's the thing that gets me about it. Any Cardinal fan out there will tell you we have a different roster every year, and it's the same Cardinal baseball. So that's, different that's, manager, different everything. We, we, we lose two to one. We'll win, we'll win one day 14 to two. Next day, I'll always say, we need to save some of them runs. Next day, we'll lose 2-1. to one. See, that's completely opposite with the Braves. We do that all the time. Yeah. Dude, I feel like we could score like 10 runs a game for one. Hold up. Let's oh, watch yeah. these Hills highlights. Everybody, let's let's pause for a second. Well, I, I got a question. I already watched it. We got to see it again. Come on. What's your question, Justin? Go ahead. It. You can do yeah. it while we're watching. Uh, so, would you rather lose 2-1 to one or like 10-2? to two? Me? I'd rather lose 10-2. to two. Me really? too. I'm one of these guys. If I'm two to one, I got to win the game. See, if if I'm watching baseball and it's a two to one game, it's good baseball. That it is good baseball, and I agree with you as a baseball if, purist. If my team loses ten to two, we sucked ass. Well, well, think about this. That's a good. Go ahead, go ahead, Steve. Well, as a fan, I guess as a fan, I'd rather get blown out than lose a close game, just because. Like, we're right there. We could have finished. Bingo. See, that's we, me. We could have done it. Yeah, but if you're playing good baseball. But, but, but I, and I, I agree with that, too. I, I get that. I'm but talking I, about sports in general. See, I'm the same way, Steve. And, and which brings up a discussion point. I'm glad you brought this up. So, my wife today, we were talking about the seedings. We were talking about the NCAA seedings. And we were talking about some of these teams that, like St. Peter's, all these guys that are 15, six, you know, 15 seed, all these – let me ask y'all a question. If you were a 15 seed or a 16 seed, 14 seed, whatever, would you feel like you had a moral victory if you took a but two, I, a three, a one to the to the end, but you lost, or would you rather just get blown out? No. That's a good – Justin, that was a good point there. Because it, 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 that's hard. You don't want to get blown out. I don't think anybody wants to get blown no, out. No, you want to – I mean – But wouldn't you, it suck, though, to, to get that close to pull into that upset like St. Peter's did well, and yeah. lose? Well, I guess it's – all right, so if it's like a winner take all – Yeah, because this is one and done. Yeah, if it's one and done, winner takes all, you're going on. I'd rather get blown out than have the one-point victory. To be that close. Or one-point loss, I'm like sorry. Like Davison kind of? Yes. Like the other day? Yes. But I mean, I'd they weren't that, they out. weren't a low seed. I'm talking about these like St. Peter's, the 15 seeds. Well, yeah, well, that's no, what I'm talking. What about. I'm saying is like I'd rather take a, a blowout over a in a one and done like a bracket like right, this. Right, right, right. I'd rather take a blowout than a one point loss. What about you, Justin? Personally, why would you want to take a blowout? Because I feel like that's even 
Well, especially in college. I'm talking about college right now, not mainly yeah. like in yeah. the, in pro sports. Right. Because that whole that whole team's not going to be there next year. I rather I rather have the fucking blowout. If you had a one point loss early in the season, that's a moral victory. But in a it, one and done, in a one and done, you're done. I feel like the blowout would be better. You're a but, you're a 15 seed. But no one expects you to right, play this right, team like this. Right, right. But so, so if you give this team a scare, right, is that going to help you? And is you're that like, gonna, damn. So so is that going to help your recruiting? Yeah, because you get yeah, exposure. You think, you think Davidson's going to go back uh, next that's, year that's what and I'm be saying. like, so Stephen, I see both sides. I couldn't even answer this because I'm like you with the baseball thing. I, I'm almost like blow me out. I, I just blow me out. I, I don't want to lose two to one. If it's a one and done type of deal, I think I f- I'd rather take a blowout. Okay, as like a lower Justin, name school. Justin, you're like you don't ever want to get blown out. This is what I'm hearing from you. Um, because in ta- baseball, you said you didn't want to get. Blown and I'm out. talking about <laughs> as a fan of this. I guess the fan, right? I'd rather be like, dude, right. don't take me all. If if I'm St. Peter's and we lose to Kentucky, we'll just say by that. one, by one, right? I'd rather instead of keep me on my my edge of my seat the whole game, <laughs> like oh, we have only a to be let we down. Have a chance to let get let down. As a player, I feel like it's a whole different scenario. But as a fan, I'm like, you keep me at the edge of my seat the whole time, right. and then we it still end up losing because even even as a fan of the team, I knew we were gonna lose. But now you made it so competitive that I'm sitting at the edge of my seat. I watch this whole game, and we still end up losing by one. Okay. Just blow me out. Okay, All right, sorry, so, Steven. I get that. Now, Justin. So as, as a fan of the team, yes, then I understand okay, yes, what as, you're saying. Okay, yes. Justin. But, but as, as a fan as a, of Carolina, and I'm watching someone like a St. Peter, right, or right, you right. know, someone that wasn't supposed so to win. I'm a high. Yeah, okay. okay. I want the underdog to be as close as possible. So in other words, a, a, so in other words, as a fan – you're always wanting an underdog, right? Well, I mean, yeah. Like, Unless it's against your team. Especially in these, like, brackets where I think it's most, like, Especially March Madness, Stephen, I think most people are, are pulling for so, the upset. So, so that, and that's what I usually do is it's either Tar Heels. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm always pulling for the Tar Heels. Uh, of course, of course. And this underdog. Yeah. And whoever's playing Duke. Well, yeah, anybody but Duke. Yes. Right. Of course. But usually I'm always going, That's that was, like, my shitty part of my, my bracket. When I picked it, yeah. as I was picking all upsets, I was like, "Oh yeah, the number, the number four team, <laughs> and definitely then, number." And then Stephen, you could come back yeah. and say, "See, I told you." But like, <laughs> I want to see that underdog. You know, I, I, we were grew up right down the road when Davidson did that. Oh yeah, that Steph elite Curry, eight, Steph yeah. Curry, the elite yeah. eight run. Yeah, it was a good like, run, and that was awesome, man. Yeah. Like you got to see the small town school. Yep. Just do it. Yeah, you right. get to the big stage. It's crazy. You know? it's crazy. I don't know. And there's been several of them like that. Right, um, but but I don't know, man. This is an interesting topic. When we brought it up, see, I mean, it generates discussion. Um, yeah, I'm pretty I, sure we're talking about baseball, <laughs> but but I mean, we were talking yeah, we about weren't. the same thing about getting blown out. Yeah. Um. So I don't know, man. I'm kind of mixed. Baseball. I'm a I'm a I'm, now, a, see, I'm a just blow me out guy. Now, see, football's different to me. Yeah, I agree with that. Football, I would rather get beat by. 14. So just never in doubt. 17. Never yeah, in doubt. But not you mean kind of like the Panthers but not by a field goal. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the Panthers have been? <laughs> yeah. I do so. not like – if it comes down to four seconds and you got the ball or the right. ball, and you're right. about to kick a field goal right. and beat me, I'm walking out. Okay. All right. Like, right. I just don't want to watch it. All right. So as we always tell the, the listeners, give us what you think. Yeah, would you rather be blown out or lose by one? And you can you can separate so the it. question. Or, or, or lose, <laughs> lose by – by one score. Yeah, yeah. Keep it close. Yeah. 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 So so let us know what you think. So. And I'm just going to shout out Matt Olson is from Atlanta, yeah. by the way. And that's Born cool. and raised. Yeah. And, and, well, and, Georgia. Well, and, and go back to Fred. Georgia? Freddy's from where? L.A. We talked about Isn't this. Cali. Cali. He's from Cali, and you talked about him and... What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell was that? Was that, that? a cat? <laughs> was that a cat? <laughs> What? Did you guys hear the? Oh, it's him. Was it you? Okay, was something, something wrong. <laughs> it was a mysterious tech man. I don't know what. What? Happened? What were you doing? I don't know what he's doing. What in the hell? Mm-hmm. I have no idea what that. Thirteen. Fuck, dude. <laughs> what is he saying? Te- uh, text it on your te- phone. Yeah, just yeah, text, text it. it. I don't understand Charlie Brown. The teacher. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just end this. Let's all right, stop this second. Yeah, all right, go so go, go Braves. All right, now we're going Panthers. Go, oh, wait, 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 wait. go Redbirds. No, j- j- no. Go Redbirds. Go Redbirds, baby. By the oh. way, one and zero in the preseason. In the, in I'm the pretty sure training. we're two and zero. Oh. So, all right. I'm pretty sure we're two and zero. Oh, know. and hey, NASCAR news: Ty Gibbs wins the Xfinity race. Oh, right, sweet. Nice. 
All right, so here we go. Son of, or uh, grandson of Joe Gibbs. There you go. All right, so we're gonna go. This is this is the meat and potatoes, I guess. Oh, technically. boys, and we got some news for you. Oh. So we're gonna go to the NFL segment, and that's what we'll call it mm. at this time, because we got a lot of lot of news, not just Panthers. We got a lot of news. Um, I'll say this um, for three guys and a silent manager who <laughs> silent man. who have been very down and out about our Panthers. Would we agree? Who's been down and out? Come on, man. Before to before the last couple of days. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I said I said who have been. Yeah. Um, hey, new year, new us, man. We had we had a hell of a day yesterday. Would we agree? We've had a hell of a. Yeah, it's been a good two week. Weeks. It's been yeah. a good week. So we're gonna go to the NFL. We're gonna start with the Panthers, of course. Do you, um, do you want to pick me up? Do you want to pick me up? Uh, um, you want to do the re-signings and I'll do the signings. Yeah. Or you want to switch swap? Doesn't matter. Yeah, let's just let's do it that way. Let's just you know what? Let's just do a wheel of let's just, NFL. Yeah, news. let's just talk about it. A wheel of fortune. So we're gonna talk about what the what's happened with the Panthers, and we made a pack before the before we started. Uh, let's just get this crap out of the way. We were in the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. And apparently, we were contacted late about oh, picking shit. up a third and fourth year guaranteed. Yeah. And apparently Tepper wasn't all in because he balked. Yep. And then we were eliminated, which turns out to be a blessing in disguise. Would you agree, guys? Yep. I told. Hey. And and, yep. and we got the silent manager with a big thumbs up over there. Right. Um. So we're gonna now talk about. I'm sure mysterious tech guy doesn't like this though. He's well, in his division now. We're yeah. not. We're not gonna talk about them yet. Yeah. Let's talk about our guys. Um. I would say our guy Fitty, who I have went on record and said he's disappointed me. Fitty went to work yesterday and this week. Yeah. So let's talk about that. So take it away, guys. Take it away, Justin. Okay. Well, um, before we get to any big signings, let's just um, let's talk about the re-signings that we've had. Let's do that. And the restructurings. And the restructurings. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's yeah. do it. Um, I'll, I'll kick it off. Sure. With Go, probably man. One of our favorites. Go, man. Out of all of us. Yes. DJ Moore got re-signed. And I think. I think Justin, the first time I met you. You mm-hmm. had your DJ jersey, yes, on. sir. Number Hand, twelve, hands down, should should have done it. Yeah, dude's a dude's a he's animal. a baller, man. Dude's and an he's animal. had no quarterback. Yep. Well, I think he's the only. Maybe there's two receivers in there. Him and Diggs. Yep. It's him and Diggs. They've had a th- eleven th- uh, eleven hundred yards. Yep. In, in scrimmage in like three seasons. Yep. Three yeah, passes. Him and Diggs. So. And Diggs is a beast. Yep. And that's a four year deal. Yep. And I think it was like sixty three million. million. And yeah. he deserves it, man. Oh yeah. Absolutely. With the with the quarterbacks it. that he's had, yes. you give him a qual, an average quarterback. Yeah. yeah, you give him an average. How about a uh, marginal? Yeah, you yeah you give him one of those. The guys going off. Yep. yep. So hands down, he's my DJ. He's my, my DJ. DJ. Hey, oh, DJ. hats off to DJ man. Hell Happy yeah. for the guy. And, and I'm and glad he's gonna be a Panther. And he deserves it. Oh yeah. Um, restructuring Eflin's contract was great. Yeah. Was really big. good. That was big. Yep. All right, Dougie. I mean, all of them. I mean, there was the, the restructures. We we know. I think at one point we're done because we were in the Watson, Watson deal. Yep. But it turns out restructuring a lot of these deals. You know, Shaq did early. He yep. restructured early. Yeah. Uh, so Moten. So did Moten. But I think all that was was because of the Watson deal. But it turned out to be, hey man, it, it helped us in the end. We ended up with what thirty three million in cap space. Yeah, we ended up with a lot. And then Fiddy went to work. Yeah, he said, "Hey man, okay, we're not here, so we're going to go out and spend some money." So, yep. I, I, dude, it's all of anybody that that gave a, or I guess was willing to renegotiate their contract, and I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, you're trying to help the team. Yeah, um, man, I love it, and the the offensive line is the thing I've been pushing that we've got. Everybody knows this. I'm not some genius. We all know our offensive line sucked. No, yeah. I mean, look what we got, and we definitely upgraded, revamped. Yeah. And so I'm just happy with with the restructures and what we did in free agency and the re-signings because we didn't talk about D Jack. Yeah, so I mean, I I'll go. Um, we had three one year uh, re-signs. Uh, Zilstra, my boy. Yeah, and I'm um, glad we brought him back. Yep, uh, Sean Chandler. Nah, yep, that's a good. One. And that's an underrated good depth. I, I love Sean. Chandler. Absolutely. And uh, Marquise Haynes. Yep. Um, but when we when we signed the one free agent, which we ain't talked about yet, there were a lot of people who thought Zilcher was going to be gone. 
Yeah. Because of the possession type receiver. Well, I feel like he's like a Burson. I agree yeah. with that. Do you, I mean, Bur- Burson wasn't the flashiest guy. He was possession guy. But you know what? He was the best in the film. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in the film room when you're watching film. Yep. And he, he had hands. And he had hands. Yep. So. But he was like, he was a coach in the film room. Yep. Oh, so. yeah. Um, and then we re-signed Zane to a three-year deal. Oh, dude. Which I, which which I loved. Was solid. That was our guy. We all loved hey, that. So I, I love some good yep. yep. And then we talked about um, bringing back Haynes. Yep. Good uh, good rotational guy. And, Obviously, and, we want we want to go sign or draft yeah, we'll get someone somebody. that we'll can start out there. But, right. But we released um, a few guys. Fox, you know. Yeah. I mean, we let a few guys go. Um, um, Boye. Yeah. Let yeah. a few guys go, but – Picked up some guys in the in in I guess in their absence. Mm-hmm. Yep. So and you you handed toward the the D-Jacks re-signing. We did re-sign him. And I'm gonna be honest, it, it did surprise me. And we texted each other today. Not that I'm saying we shouldn't have. I was a little surprised that they gave him a three year deal. Not I'm not throwing shade. I was just surprised. Yeah, I'm glad they did. But guys, he's got to stay healthy. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Well, I. I just feel like it's hard. I know we talk shit about people staying hurt all the time. It's hard. It, it's it's hard though. You can't you can't predict injuries. Well, they're not right. getting they're not getting hurt on purpose, right? So it's like you get hurt. I, I get it. When it becomes right. a continuous issue, I understand. Like maybe you have to move on. Right. But like, but Dijak was having a hell. Of he a was year having a good year until he, he got hurt, and he had a great year um, the year before mm. coming back from injury. I, I did see a stat today. He's got 12 INTs. Yep. And it's the second most from the draft class of mm. 2018. Yeah. Who's first? I don't know who's first. I don't know who's. <laughs> so, 2018. But, but the thing, but the thing uh, about D Jack is what I noticed last year at the Marshawn? end before he got hurt. Matt, yeah. Probably. probably was. Was his. His run stoppage. Yeah. He was making tackles. He can tackle. Yeah. He can hit. But that, he worked on that. That's the thing. And, you know, early in his career, he could hit. But he, could, he didn't, he didn't wrap up. He didn't wrap he didn't up. Wrap yeah. up. He didn't have discipline. He didn't have technique. Yeah. Yep. Now he's got that. Yep. Yeah. So I'd like to see him with a full healthy year. Mm-hmm. Him and Horn. Yeah. Yeah. And Oof. and maybe we can bring back Gilmore. And, and it's still maybe. out there. It's still out there. So talk. I, but we did bring in some people. Oh yeah. You want to hit on some of them? You want to do it? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Xavier Woods. I think it's a hell of a pickup. I like it. It's a great pickup. Him and Chen. And now there was some rumors about us getting Matthew. It's still Donnie out there. Badger. It's still out there. I, I would mean, I would rather get him than Gilmore. Tyron? Yeah. Yes, yeah, me too. Yeah. I would I totally agree. I'll take either one. But I don't really have a preference. Because I have a Gilmore jersey, I'll go Gilmore. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> but I feel like if we get Matthew, that him and Woods will solidify the, sure. the back end. Sure. And and Chen can go in the box yeah. and play where he does well. Um, but Xavier Woods, great signing. I think everybody's super excited by the the Austin Cobert signing. I yeah. do too. I mean, that come I don't. On. I don't think anybody saw that one coming. No, and it, it's funny is he he left the Rams, comes here, brings championship pedigree. Yeah, he's worked on his craft too. Yep, dude's young. That was actually the one guy I wanted to sign. Yeah, I, you, you I, I was. It. I you couldn't did. believe it, man. I couldn't believe we signed him. I want. I wanted him really bad. Well, we picked off two Rams. Yeah. We got the punter. Oh, dude. That's Steven's boy. And, I, hey, he could I, be a backup quarterback. I <laughs> That's Steven's boy. I freaking love Sam. You're going to get his jersey, I man. I love Hecker, dude. You're going to get his jersey, man. I love him. You ever yeah. bought a punter jersey? Have you? I haven't. Me either. Steven's about to be it. It might be it. Dude, Hecker's a beast. I know. And he was the number one free agent yep. punter out there. Dude, yep. dude, dude's an animal. And – if four, you, four if time you, Pro Bowl. If you've yep. ever watched the Pat McAfee show, oh yeah, I hey, love plug it. Pat McAfee sponsor. By the way, who yep. was in Teach Charlotte us. last night? Yep, for it SmackDown. For SmackDown. Yep. But uh, he raves about Hecker, and he, and, and, and he a, was a punter as a former All Pro punter. Yep. I mean, hey, we got him for three years too. That's what I like right there. We locked him up for three years. Yep. Him and Zane, man, they could both be going to the Pro and, Bowl. And yep. what did Zane sign? Three year deal. Yep. And Jansen's back. <laughs> hey, we got to get a t shirt with those three on it. JJ Jansen Johnson. That'd be pretty JJ sweet. Johnson. Yep. Sponsored by Carolina Sports Radio. <laughs> <laughs> so. And then we got Deontay Freeman. I actually really so, love that. I love this pickup. That's a good pickup. Are you talking about Foreman? Yeah, Foreman. 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 Yeah. Man, I'm going to tell you something. I keep saying, I keep thinking Devontae Freeman. That guy, well, that, and I would confuse. I yeah. mean, same way, but uh, Foreman is a beast. He man. is an animal. Yeah. Um, one year deal, right? Yep. Yep. 
I, I love that sign, and he and he was trying to recruit Watson. Did he y'all was. see that? He was. Um, yeah. But it is what it is. I ain't worried about that. But I like that signing as well. Oh yeah. Talk about the offensive line. We got a couple more signings on the offensive yeah. line. Yeah, we went out and signed, uh, which was to was it today? Uh, no, it was yesterday. 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 You talking we Bo- got Bosman. Bosman is a beast, and I really wish it would have been a little longer of a contract. It's only one year. Yeah. It's only one year. I would have liked maybe a two. Yeah. Um. But this, I mean, he's a he's a really and, good and offensive lineman. Baltimore sent him out with a lot of fanfare. It, mm. Evidently, he's a really good guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, hated to lose him. I think I even saw a press conference where he was like tearing up. Yeah. yeah. Talking about Baltimore. But I agree with you. I was hoping we could lock him up for more than just one. And who knows? You know, I mean, there's always extensions, extensions and yeah. stuff like but that. But it's a good hell of a signing. But he can number, play center and guard. Number one center prospect until. Jan- uh, Right, the Brown Center went out. Right, Treater, exactly. Tre- Treader, Treader, Treader. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, we also have a new receiver, boys. And I think we all three got online. I, I think we all did this right. Oh, we. I think we all love. And we guy. were all yeah. like, you know, it was kind of funny. It's, I think I don't know. One, one of you were the first one to say, "I like." I think it might have been you. Like this know. signing, yeah. I like we this signing. Like, yeah. And I, I know me and you were chimed in, and we were like. Oh, absolutely. I love that Higgins sign. Yeah. And he's already Higgins. keep pounding. Did y'all see that yep. video on him? Hollywood Higgins. He's already telling his family keep pounding. Yep. Hey, so he's fr- buying in, man. And friend of the show, Zach, he's, he DM'd them. Mm-hmm. You know, they were on Twitter talking yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Talking about hanging out. So, you know, I said, hey, you got, you got your chance. Yep. Yep. He's, not, cool. he's in Charlotte now. He's in man, Charlotte. I love this. I think that's a great yep. signing, man. Yep. Um, um, go go, no, you go ahead. You, I'm just going to say one more. You got the no, rest. Go, man. Probably my favorite signing so far, Matt Ioannidis. Oh, my God, Thank man. you, because I, I couldn't say his name. And I joked about him <laughs> being the Temple pip- Pipeline. Hey. I joked oh, about I that, I but, but the guy's good. this one, it, along with Reddick, which I want to talk about Reddick in a minute, Okay, is a legit signing. Yep. This the is, Temple thing is has nothing to do with it. This is a great I'm signing. I'm going to tell you something, man. This dude could play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think he's got like 16 and a half sacks and, in like And that four was years. a yep. one-year deal as well? Yeah. Yes. Also, another one I wish it would have been, been a little, been a little bit yeah. more. And again, we're talking about extensions. But, but hey, thank you, Ron. Yeah. <laughs> but right. him, him and Derek Brown, because Derek Brown's more of a run stopper. Wow. Yeah. Ionitis is more would of a you pass think, rusher. Do you think they're going to clog the middle? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, hopefully. But the thing about Ionis is he gets sacks. Yep. Yeah. That's the thing, man. Yep. I love it, man. I love yep. that signing. But, yeah. And then we got uh, Wilson. Mm-hmm. Yep. Linebacker from Jacksonville. 100 tackles. Yeah. He's, I mean, and he's progressing each year. And what, I think I think he had like three sacks. Yep. The thing I hear on him is he's he's a run stopper. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he is in coverage. Yeah. Yep. Not sure. but Well, see, that's what I was excited about the Tyron Matthew sign rumors. Is exactly. that Chen was going to come down, right? Yep, help with the run, and exactly. when we play the the four three, right? Uh, Wilson was going to be kind of like our middle linebacker, bingo. Mm-hmm. And then Chen and Chen, Shaq Chen, would get the outside, yeah. exactly. Well, now it's not happening. So, yeah. well, I mean, it's it's still out there. Yeah, I mean, they said no, or the, that reporter said that's no, what Joe Joe person, but he hasn't signed anywhere yet. He hasn't signed so anywhere it's yet. Still open, right. and Gilmore's still know. out there. Yep, which I'm not opposed to. Kenny Robinson or no, no, Sean Chandler no, going back yeah, there and playing no, safety. No. Hey, 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 Robbie Anderson taking that signing bonus. Yeah, that which tells us he's, he's not here. he's not going anywhere. He's here. But you know what? Play like you want to f and be here. Yeah, I agree. Do you notice I said f and? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> PG thirteen. <laughs> Friggin'. So Friggin'. thank you, ladies. Hello, uh, ladies. And we'll just hit real quick, um, not to drag on it. Any more thing else, Panthers? Well, I, I got a shout out to Reddit. Okay. Go ahead. Reddick, I don't know if you guys saw this. He did go on social media. Um, you know, he signed in Philly, hometown. Yeah. That's where he's from. Right. Um, I hate that we did not re-sign Reddick. Um, I think we all agree he was he was a great – repre- And he yeah. was a representative of the – age. He, man, he, he, he really interacted with the fans as mm-hmm. well. He went on social media this week, and he's already changed all of his stuff over to Philadelphia. And thanked the Panther fan base. Yeah, he talked about how he loved them and how they embraced him and how they, you know, we all were just all in with him. Right. And he said, you know, I'll always remember that. I thought that was classy as hell. Not hey. So always, man. Shout I, out I'm, to that. I, I'm not a Philly guy, and I know Steven said that if he had to pick a team, if the Panthers ever left, he'd be a Philly guy. I would be. 
But I, I, I love Reddick. I wish him nothing but the best except against the Panthers. And that's a different question for the podcast, sure, too. Sure, sure. And we talked about that. And you got and you guys know my answer, obviously. But listen, now. Hassan, man, we, we miss you. We hate we couldn't re-sign you. But, man, nothing but love. Appreciate the shout-out. Don't Keep, forget that uh, Brian Burns on Geo Golf Cart. Keep, Geo yeah, Golf exactly. Cart. Keep pounding, Hassan. Yes, right. So I just wanted to say that. Yeah. Um, and just real quick, NFL news, and we don't have to hit it very hard. Uh, Run it down. Wentz, Wentz the Commanders. Yep. Yep. Which is hey, – Decent trade for, I, I'm for mi- Washington. I'm mixed on that. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know if they can run Heineke. I don't think Heineke was the guy. I think he's a solid backup. I think he's the guy. If somebody gets hurt, comes in. Yep, and that's proving that. So you know what? We'll see. Yep, jury's out. Yep, uh, Wilson to the Broncos. We already talked about, but hey, uh, you already see that the fan base collaborating about that. He's trying to recruit players. Um, and the- I, I did read Stephen that Denver was where he wanted yep. to go. He wanted to go to Denver. Yep. So. Jacksonville send, spending spree. Yeah. That's yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, and they're everybody. shoveling they're it away. They're throwing money to anybody Big that time. can do anything. And I do like their head coach signing. Yeah. Doug Peterson. Yeah. It's a good coach, man. Yeah. He won a, he won a, he won a Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. And he beat the GOAT. Yep. He did. So. Uh, Mitch Trubisky to the Steelers. Mark is ha- very happy about that. Go actually. Heels. So. Hey, we're, we like Trubisky. Yeah. What you think, Tech Guy? He's a heel. What do you think, Tech Guy? You're a Pittsburgh guy. Mark is very happy about that. Hey, do well in Pittsburgh. Just don't play us. Uh, we already said Watson to the Browns. We already talked about hey, that. Yep. We already talked about it. Yeah, fuck out of here. Oh, um, freak out of here. Devontae Adams to the Stop Raiders out. for a first and second round pick. Say that again. Devontae Adams to the Raiders for a first I, and second round I, pick. I really think the Raiders came out pretty good in I that. I mean, they they gave him a, a, a shit ton of money. Me and Steven are on record. We love Carr. Yeah. The Ra- we like Carr. The Raiders are about to be dirty. The Raiders are freaking loaded. And and um, let me say this again. Growing up, I was a Cowboy fan. Yeah. My AFC team was the Raiders. I mean. So, I like the Raiders. I, I mean, like the Chargers, too. You got Renfro, Adams, Waller, and Josh Jacobs. Yes. Now, now Abdullah. Oh my God! And now you got Chandler Jones yeah. besides yes Max Crosby. Oh, yep. And the, and they said I think Gilmore has got an offer from the Raiders, which they need because they just lost Casey Hayward to. So Atlanta. he could end up out there. Yep. And they signed up Dula. Yep. And now the Panthers. Where did Khalil Mack go? Mack went to Chargers. Chargers. Chargers, Chargers are West. loaded, yep. dude. That, the, no, the AFC West. Yeah, the AFC West is ridiculous. And, and can I say this? Even though he sponsored the crack zone, Kevin, we love you. But FYT, Chiefs. <laughs> I'm either a Raiders or a Chargers guy. Sorry. Yep. And <laughs> then oh, – go ahead. I was just going to say, honestly, Chiefs might be well, – they, be, they might be third best. They, they be might third. be third best in that division. Because, yeah. yeah. I mean, even the Broncos with Russ. <laughs> 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 well, uh, and then we have to talk about the GOAT unretired. Yeah, all right, yeah. can we say this first, Stephen? Let's, let's all get on the uh, – silent manager – Steers Tech guy, let's make sure we do this collaboration here. Is anybody surprised? No. Did you really think he was going to retire? The MLB lockout lost lasted longer than Tom Brady's retirement. I didn't think he was going to retire. I got to be honest with you. I was hoping with all of oh, my Oh, me heart too. Me too. That he would. Now, but, but, but Justin, won't it be sweeter if he comes back and do, do, he's doing what he's doing and we go down there and kick their ass? Nah, I don't know. No, no. Who wins? Who to- knows? All right, so early season prediction: Who wins the Super Bowl this year? Tom Brady. Ooh, nah, I'm not. Have going. you have you seen his Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Oh, I know. Have you seen know. his thing? And they're all he coming goes, back. Super Bowl. He loses. loses Super Bowl Super losers. Bowl, losers. Yeah, I've seen it. What happened last year? Lost. I'm not going Tom Brady. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers won it. Now this is just me being a douchebag and yeah. saying, like, "Oh, everybody's leaning." You know, the, do a douchebag. The, the league hey, is hold up, leaning. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Douchebag alert. Yeah. Uh, uh, it doesn't uh, matter. They're, uh, they're doing it. They're going to give it to him. It doesn't matter. So, doesn't but matter but you're happens. saying he's not going to earn it. The NFL is going to set like kind of yeah. like Coach K. Yeah. No, kind of like no, no, no. Kind of like Peyton Manning. Yep. Okay, like they did in Super Bowl. Kind of like Ray Lewis. Yep. I'm going to go out on a limb right now and tell you who I've got is the early favorite. The Bills. Nope. I, All day. All day. And I agree with Every Justin. Day, I Bills. think the Bills are fucking rolling. Okay. I'm going to go wild card though. Go for it. I'm going Chargers. Yeah, I think they'll be good, but I think the Bills. Can I agree take with it you. Anybody. I think the Bills are the leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. I think it's too early to say. I just think it's funny. I think the Buccaneers they'll they'll give it to them. Okay, 
All right. Well, speaking of the Bills. <laughs> you talking about the pipeline? They just paid <laughs> Von Miller. Holy yeah. crap. And they went out and got O.J. Howard. Can I add a button? Yeah, and, and, and you do it? Sure. Well, you- Isn't Von Miller wearing 40? Yeah, probably. All right, so button 40. Von Miller. Bill's Mafia. But <laughs> fuck, fuck that guy. <laughs> Bill's Mafia. <laughs> because I, through I, a table I, table from Super Bowl 50, table, table, I table, still table. hate him, man. Who Dude, doesn't? Him going to the Bills is dirty. Isn't yeah. it nasty? No. OJ Howard and Josh Allen, and, and they dirty. Already, they already had the number one defense in the league. Isn't yep. it crazy? Or top five. And what was the number one? It might have been number one. I think they were. And you're getting Von Miller? Yep. All right. Nice. So I'm I'm going wild card, but I agree with you, Justin. I think the Bills are nasty. And who? Oh, they signed uh, Daquan Jones. Yep. Did they not? Yep, yeah, they did. They did. They did. Uh, uh, what a sh- hey, hey, what a shock. Yep. But I will tell you guys this: we were talking about the Browns earlier. Mm. You know they come to Bofa. Yep. So FYT. You know we're gonna be Just talking some, some shit. shit. So if he's even playing, yeah, he might be suspended. Exactly. So little little side note there. All right. Well, anything else? NFL wise, I I do think we're gonna start doing maybe some mock drafts soon. Yeah, yeah, cool. we talked about that. Do you want to do this on the air or off the air? We'll do it off the air. All right. Yeah, that's cool. But now, Stephen, me and you are Stafford guys. Yeah, Stafford got a, got a contract I'm, today. I'm a Stafford guy. He's a Stafford oh, you like? Okay, cool. I just know me and me and oh, your boy talked on. about it. Come on, man. You forgot about? You can't me. leave me hanging. Give baby. some bombs. All right, so we're we're Stafford guys, even though he scoring the Panthers, which we understood. Hey. That's fine. He I got a ring, right? I wouldn't yeah, be a quarterback got a ring. either. Even though Sharam, our friend of the show, <laughs> he doesn't like Stafford. <laughs> That's fine. But it is what it is. Well, he won the ring. Yeah. But he got a ring. But we've got – and you talked about Woods. Did you talk about that one? Oh, Woods getting traded to the Titans for a six-round pick. And Justin said he thought that was a steal. That was a steal. That is a steal. It's, you're, you're just banking off, you know, Whether how, he how he's coming back from that ACL injury. Right. So I just don't like Tannehill. See, I've never. I'll be just. I've never liked Tannehill. I just feel like he's. I, I feel you, like they have a good offense. Do I you feel, feel like, like he's overachieved in Tennessee? He's a system quarterback. Let me ask, just yeah. answer me that because I used to call him Panty Hill. Panty Hill. When when he was in Miami, I, I thought he was. I thought he was soft. I just feel like with all the shit he has over there, I'm sorry. Um. All the weapons he has, and right. he's had a pretty good offensive line. Sure, his he, whole, has. Like, sure he, he has. He is a system quarterback. He should so. be killing it. That's I agree. It but I used to call him Panty Hill, man. Number one, because I don't like Miami. Number two, no, don't. <laughs> I don't think he's. A, I don't think he's a. a I just pansy. don't think he did any that well in Miami. No, I think Adam Gase. I thought had he. I thought he was that. overhyped. Adam Gase fucked him up. Yeah, well, Adam Gase. He messes everybody up. I mean, he started playing better when he went to Tennessee. Hey, speaking of Miami, I just don't like him. Former Panther signed Very with Miami. Right. I mean, yep. Our guy, we still paying him, uh, and through this next four years, <laughs> Bridgewater yeah. signed with Miami back up. They to should a, start him. We'll see. He nope. probably will be because Tua will get hurt. Nobody with a left arm can play in the NFL. I'm just telling you but, that. But right Tua now. will get hurt. Other they, than they can't. Other than left, Michael Vig, they can have a left arm at all. Nobody, no, nobody. Just cut left, it off. With, nobody with the left arm can play in the yeah. NFL. All right. Steve, friend of the show, Steve in Tampa, Tampa Rock. Yeah. He'll appreciate this comment. You guys probably won't remember it. There's two quarterbacks, lefties, that did do well in NFL who are legends. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Number one. Kurt Warner. Ken Stabler. <laughs> the Snake. Or the Raiders, Oakland yeah. Raiders. Oh, right, wait. Number two. Michael Frank Vick. Tarkenton. No, Fran Tarkenton. Michael he was a, He was not a lefty. Michael Vick. Jim Zorn for the Seattle Seahawks. Ah, shit. Michael so, Vick. Well, is, Michael, well, I said you guys probably wouldn't remember. Oh, His name was Fran? Yeah, Fran, F A F R A N, Fran Tarkington. Is that, is and I'm gonna tell you, he was a bad all right, dude. All right, I'm not, I'm not disputing that, but no, isn't that the name of the nanny? Yeah, it's okay. Fran. Okay. Right. Silent manager, Google that so you can make sure. I'm an old guy. You know it's Fran. Isn't that Frank Tarkington? Hey, I was there when Fran got drafted. Okay. It, why do we keep saying Fran? <laughs> it's Fran. That's his name. Is it hey. Fr- No, there's no. It's Fran. F R A N. Was Fran Kirk, Tarkington? Was Kirk Cousins a left-handed quarterback? No. <laughs> was Matt Leiner? No. <laughs> oh, it is Fran. I I'm see. just going to I got it. I got it. It's Fran. I go. So do I get some love? Yeah, a little bit. He's, he's throwing right-handed. <laughs> and he played for who? No, he, who? No, he said it wasn't left-handed. Oh, he no. said it was. He, he, there's he not. Already, there, there, but to your to your y'all's take, there's not a lot of lefties. You're right. But Tua, uh, I'm not sold on Tua. 
That's yeah. a whole other podcast. I just don't want my quarterback to be left in. No, I don't either. I don't want my quarterback named Fran. Fran. True. But Tarkenton was he was, yeah, good. He was good. I'm not, he I'm was not good, man. That. I'm not disputing that. I'll show you a video Jesus of Fran Tarkenton getting into a fight. Dude, look how short this guy is. Getting into a fight, guys. Y'all respect him. He got look how small that guy is. Yep. It's freaking Muggsy. Sweet. March Madness, baby. Give me an update, guys. He's 5'2". What are we talking about? Come on, talk Memf- to me. Memphis is up 27 to 25. I'll give you an update. It's and, 1,000 and, degrees up here. And they have a 2'7 <laughs> guy. Why is it so hot up here, dog? Because we shut the we shut the window. All right, let's go. Hey, to check sh- guy. Open up that window. All right, so let's go to sh- – all right, we're going to do mock drafts coming up soon. Look out. You guys want to do shout-outs? Uh, wait doing? a minute. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're but let's do this right draft. here. We need other people doing mock drafts. Send okay. them in. Yeah, show us. What you got, site manager? Show us your best mock draft. You got it? Yeah, you send me something? Us. Keep going. But we are getting ready to do shout outs. She's getting ready to send me something. Yeah. All right, go to shout outs. You said All you right. had four. Go to shout outs. Well, I actually have one more. This, okay. There's a fifth. One more what? Shout out. Yeah. Not four. Oh, okay. that, that one right there is on my shout outs. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Everybody, count how many times we say shout outs. <laughs> shout out, shout, shout out. out. Shout Drink out. every time we All say right. shout out. And Fran. Take Wait a minute, hold on. Shout Fran. out. Fran. Shout out. Fran. Shout out. Fran. Shout out. All right. So, hey, look, we didn't want to hit the two hour mark, but we did. We're there. Oh, we, dude, well, it's been a week, guys. Dude, yeah. It's been Come on, a man. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty bad. I mean, does anybody finish their um, my, freaking juice? Here? Been, I want mine, another one. Mine's been done. All right. Shout outs. Uh, first one is Andrew from the Canes Watch Party. Cool he dude. He bought man. us a hat, man. He did, man. He bought us a hat. He <laughs> bought our hat. That's what he did. We were at the bought watch party. Hat. Yeah. Me and, and by the way, I thought Justin was coming, but he didn't show. Yeah. But anyway. He, he forgot. Um, dude, I straight up forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's man. cool. It's cool. It's cool. But we basically were telling him about him and, and his girlfriend, yeah, who Janelle. was very cool. Yeah, very nice. She um, works at American Inc. Yep. Which is like a custom. And we talked you know, about some merch. merch. and stuff, yeah. But uh, he was really interested about the hat. He looked at it, bought one. Hey, Andrew, thank you, man. We and, appreciate and you. And eventually yeah, you. we'll post yeah. some pics yep. of those who have bought hats. Yep, but we want to shout him out. Um, again, I want to shout out everybody who signed up for the CSR pack Bracket Challenge, uh, except for a tech guy because he just snubbed us. Um, Which is a whole other podcast. Yep. Then my third one is Bismack Biombo. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I, I know Did, what you're getting ready to tell me. Yep. That is great. I'm glad so you said he that. Is, he's dedicating, I think, his salary this year, I think it was, to um, to his his dad's foundation for right. building houses right. yep. in the Congo. Yep. Um, his dad his, just, all of his salary. Yep. His dad just recently passed away. That was one of his passions. He's doing that. Bismack, keep doing what you're doing, man. And then my last shout out, and Doug, don't get jealous. No, it's cool. It's for Justin. And Man, I see, I'm going to hold up. I'm getting ready to get, I'm going to get jealous. Okay, don't. Because I'm going to tell you why. I'm hurt, man. Because just listen, just listen. Because he is Matt, sexy today. Well, he was going to get out of my yeah, lawn. He was going to get out of my lawn, but we didn't do that. You gave me a jacket yes, last week. Mm-hmm. And I told you you were going to be my shout out. Actually, I told you I'm going to get out of my lawn. Yeah. Oh, you told me when we were in the yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So I'll take it back. Yeah, so last week I was shivering. I was were we cold or what? Was we it cold? We are cold. Justin comes out. Like a knight in shining armor, yep. and gives me a jacket from his car. Yep. So Justin, thank you, man. Hey, my boo thing was shivering. Yep. I had to cover up. And I got to be honest, mm-hmm. he was sh- literally shivering. I was trying my best not to. Yeah. And Justin came with a jacket. Justin, shout out to you, man. I got you, bud. I remember you kept me that. warm. I remember that. So there it is. I got to admit that was pretty cool. That was it. I went ahead and put a hoodie on. I was already cold. You know, us old guys, the circulation doesn't go well. Well, we get yeah. cold. And I almost brought a hoodie. I just left it in the kitchen while we were living. <laughs> yeah. So. What is it? That's yep. it. That's all right. It. That's all right. You got any? I just got my closers. All right. I got two. Um, <laughs> the first one we're going and we all talked about this. So it's kind of a this is a this is a shout out from all three of us. John Clayton. Yeah. Um, ESPN NFL guy. Uh, unfortunately, I think it was yesterday passed away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Great football guy. Oh, my God. Before social media, we were talking about this. Whenever you were watching ESPN, and, and, and before social media, you were glued. Yep. Any sports fan was on ESPN. Dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun. John Clayton. And if John Clayton come on, everybody was like, this has got to be breaking news. This is legit. And he would get it before anybody. Yep. Um, John Clayton, man, passed away yesterday, and it said of a short illness. Yeah. I'm um, not sure what was going on, but hey, man. Miss this guy. We, I, I, he is a legend. A legend. Yeah. So we don't want to shout out to John Clayton and his family, man. Prayers up. Rest in peace. For sure. 
and this is the one I want to throw out today. And we we were getting we were getting some texts in the group, mm-hmm. um, and we we like to shout this guy out. And I can't I just can't say it enough, man. We got a guy with the Tampa riot, Steve. Yep. He man, he ought to be like I guess he's like a sixth member of the of he's the show. Hype, he's hype man. He's like um, we're gonna get him on. I'm telling you now, yep. he will get on the show. He will. Um, he shouts us out. He represents our stuff. He's always throwing the swag out. Always went out today on a family fishing trip, um, mm-hmm. and we were he was you know hitting us up, telling us about hey going out. You had a guy who had a bush. Light and he sent it to us. He said he thought of us when he yeah. saw the bush light. Um, but he uh, he was going out fishing with the family today, like a fishing, a family fishing trip. And he noted he sent us a picture and he said he had his his uh, CSR wristband on. Mm-hmm. And he said I've got this on for basically good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and then he sends us a picture later that he's in the crack zone after they catch the first, first fish. fish. Yep. And he's in the crack zone with our with our wristband on. Yeah. Man, come on, man. That is so cool. That's badass. So, Steve, man, w- I can't say enough, and, and I'm going to let these guys jump in too, man. I can't say enough about your support and yeah. uh, the friendship. Yeah. It's, it's more about the friendship, man. Mm. Me and you text a lot. We're the old guys. Yeah. Uh, man, listen, dude, we really appreciate you, man. And just remember, man, you're like an associate member of CSR, yeah. and we appreciate it, man. Totally agree with that. Hundred and ten percent. Uh me and Justin, we were we were talking at uh World Bliss about that. Mm-hmm. Dude dude's a great guy. We love you. We appreciate the support. Hey, we're gonna have you on the show when we, oh, we meet up again. And we wanna get down to Florida to yep. see you. And yeah. we we talked about maybe going down there and doing a show if we yeah. can figure out the remote stuff. Yep. Um doing a show and he told us the bar that they go in and watch the games, he was gonna talk to him about us doing a remote broadcast down yep. there. That would be so fun, man. Oh, um, yeah. You know, fire those cannons. <laughs> I knew y'all were going to look at me when I said I'm gonna that. I'm going to punch you in that jejunum. <laughs> but I will tell y'all this. He did tell me this week being in Tampa. Jejunum. He said he about he was like throwing up in his mouth Similar, bro. When, when, oh. when Brady announced. He said, man, I was throwing up in my mouth down here. <laughs> So he's like hating it, all the hype. You know, you know, Tampa was yeah, lit. Oh yeah, they were going crazy. And he was like, man, I can't get away from it. So, hmm. so there you go. Shout out to Steve, man. Again, like I said, we appreciate everything you do for us, man. For sure. All right. Any more shout outs? We're gonna go to Justin, who's Justin. gonna do hit. This is the Justin segment. Yep. Um, we're gonna take it away. Go, Justin. Hi. <laughs> um, just my normals. Hi. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and Thank you, you for everything you do. And you, who are you talking to? Silent Man. Like, d- they know when I'm talking to Tech Guy. <laughs> okay. It's like a, like, everybody knows, okay? <laughs> All right, okay. It's a staple. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, his tone Come changes. On. For sure. For like, sure. The, the tone in his voice changes. You, you talking about the love fest over yeah. here? <laughs> no, but Silent Manager, you keep us in check. You keep us in line. And you're awesome. So thank you. <laughs> Tech guy, thank you for everything you do. Um, you do a lot of hard work. Uh, like last week, you um, he actually earned his money. Last yeah, you week. earned your money big time. That hey, that at, at the end of the show was hilarious. Yeah, it was awesome. Tech guy, keep doing that stuff, man. Um, uh, that's cool. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm waiting on it, man. Stephen and Doug. <laughs> yes, sir. My co-host. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, you. wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, know, you are drop dead gorgeous thank today. You. Thank you. I love that. I love the ensemble that you have on. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's it's still St. Patty's Day. So love it, man. We're hey, going. It's St. Patty's Day weekend. Yep. Love it. So we're still going with that. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, follow us on Instagram and Spotify. And why is your face like that? What I got you mean? Pay, I got to pay the band. Oh, oh okay. I know, but we're good. All right, real quick. Do it again. Please, guys, follow us on Instagram. The Hub. Yep. Uh, I don't know how many followers we got so far. But update, two, quick. Update, like update, 226. update, update. 226. All right, guys, 300. We give another giveaway out. On Twitter, yep. we're at like 120-something. Okay. We're getting um, there. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, Spotify. Uh, YouTube. Apple Podcast, YouTube. Um, Google Podcast. Yeah. Uh, which I don't know if anybody listens there, but, you know, you can go there and listen. 
Um, but yeah, guys, just check us out. Go out there if you're working one day and think about us. Tell a customer. Tell your coworker. Tell the guy that blows up the bathroom and you have to go <laughs> fix it. I don't know. You know. We know about that. Support. We yeah. appreciate it. We love y'all. So. And I wanted to mention too before we sign off, we still have some hats. Yeah. That are out there for again thirty dollars. And we're not we're not trying to make a ton of money on these things, man. People ask us about our swag, and we said, "Hey, man, we'll, we'll try to get some." Yeah, yeah. And we have talked to some people about some other things on down the line. So, but the hats are still for sale. We have a few. So, hey, man, let us know. We'll we'll get them out to you. So, that's it, man. Anything else, guys? I hate that guy. No, nope. I like nope. that. Yep. Because the segment didn't feel right. Yeah. He really didn't. Too warm and fuzzy. But you appreciate him, right? Yeah. But you hate him. I mean, everything he does. Let me ask you a question. Do you hate and love him? Sometimes. <laughs> I like that. You know, that. when I look over and he's looking at me with those big guys. and <laughs> If he puts his hat on, though. No, he's an And arc. he shaves. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, we don't even know who he is. And we are going to pull out. Steven, you need to bring the mask. Okay. Because we need to get an updated picture of Mysterious Tech Guy. Okay. Yeah. So we're gotcha. going gonna to do that. So, all right. Anything else, guys? We're good? They were good. They were Episode good. 31. What was it again? Let the madness begin. Yeah. Yep. That's it, man. For myself, Steven, Justin, Silent Manager, Mysterious Tech Guy. We appreciate you guys, man. Hey, again, social media, go out and let us know, you know how we can improve or whatever. Give us suggestions. So here we go. Episode 31 coming to an end. We, we are, are C-S-R.